Oh, wait, oh, sorry, my bad. Uh, actually, this is a Stardew Valley special. I'm so happy to be back here on my old Sunday time slot with some incredible Stardew Valley people. We're just doing a crossover with the Stardew Valley collab. They're a group that does incredible Stardew Valley speedrunning events, and I was so excited to invite them on to share, you know, with Hotfix some of the great stuff they do, some untraditional races, tournaments, stuff like that. And today we actually have a three-player versus one-player community center showcase. So excited to get into that. Before we jump in with our Stardew friends, and I see so many people in the chat from the community, welcome everyone. I just want to say that, uh, Frame Fatals, if you don't know, is Games Done Quick's all-women online speedrunning community, and volunteer applications for that are open now. So if you're interested in helping out with our next event, Flame Fatals, go to gamesdonequick.com slash framefatals or do exclamation mark FF in the chat for more information about that. And also, Juneteenth is uh, coming up June 17th and 18th at 1 p.m. Eastern, celebrating Black independence and our fastest Black speedrunners. So excited about that. It's going to be amazing. Be sure to tune in for that. All right, I'm going to throw this over to my co-host for this event, the Valiant Sun. Valiant, you want to talk a little bit about what we have going on here today and who we've got? Yeah, thank you so much, Court. Um, today, you know, we've got a pretty interesting matchup here. Some of you in chat, I see, you know, I've seen a couple of people saying, how do you speedrun Stardew Valley? Um, and so, you know, we're going to show you one of our iconic speedruns. You might also be wondering, hey, three players versus one player? That doesn't sound super fair. But the good news is that our multiplayer has a bit of a handicap and it's called lag. And so um, both of these um, groups, the three player, um, just set the multiplayer world record on Friday. And our one player, the Habu, um, is the world record holder for the single player game. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fantastic. You want to ha let all of our players uh, introduce themselves and say hi before we get going? Yeah, let's start, um, you know, top lift. Go alphabetically, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, sure. that sounds good. There we go. I guess, since I'm the first alphabetically, hi, I'm Lee, hi. aka 20-something loser. My pronouns are she, her. I'm here to be the fish-er person <laughs> of the team. <laughs> Over to Joe. Huh? Oh, you. hey. <laughs> uh, hi, guys. I am Joe TG. I, my pronouns are uh, he, him, and I'm here to uh, help carry the run. <laughs> That's pretty much it. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> my name <laughs> Okay, Joe. <laughs> my name is Terpreter, but that was my father's name. You can call me Terp. Uh my pronouns are she her. And I'm a I'm a farm up in here, so yeah. Uh I'm the Habu. You can just call me Habu. I play the I play Start You Fast. It's in my bio. <laughs> And so that's just True. how, that's what I'm known for in this game. I just play it fast. All right. Awesome. I, I'm so excited for this. I think what, what we're going to be doing is kind of bouncing between the three player team and Habu, checking in on everyone, seeing how everything is going. It's going to be a really fun time. Are y'all ready to go and get rolling? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yep. Amped. All right. Well, then I'll, I'll, I'll count us in and okay. let's, uh, let's get going in three, two, one. Good luck. Woo! First load, didn't load up a save file. Embarrassing. Don't yeah, forget to move your bed. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta change my settings. Uh -oh. oh yeah, I have no music playing. <laughs> Me either. Yeah, it's fun. I had to play some music. I had to listen to the do. <laughs> um, what are you gonna to listen to? Same thing. So right away, what um, you might have noticed is that the multiplayer started at a little bit of a different spot than um, our single player Habu did. Yeah, um, no that's saplings because multiplayer start. runs start when you unpause the game after making your character creation oh, file, um, whereas single player um, on the single player starts their run on the end of character creation or when you press that OK button. So both. Everybody is um, out and going. Hey, Lee, can I have some of that wood, please? Yep. Sorry. There you go. 
There was only yeah, nine yeah. pieces. That Did anybody get any mix seeds? Yeah, I got some. Uh, All right, I didn't get a single one. Dude, I got three with your name cool. on it. Oh my gosh, that's what I like to hear. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so you can see um, Habu's already on um, you know, day three. Um, he's got a lot less parsnips to kind of handle. We've got um, 45 parsnips from our three-player team as they're going to bed. So there's a lot going on. What are we doing today? Water. We are watering, fellas. I'm gonna go oh cut God. trees. Um, how many mixed seeds did you say you got? I put them in the chest. I had three. Oh, you didn't actually plant them. That's cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. That's it's pog. Cool, dude. It's cool. You can. That's totally all right. I'm gonna out. grab some oh, is that more. You watered? Okay. Oh my bad. Yeah. <laughs> No worries. All right, I'm I got some. Resolution. <laughs> my resin well, is all messed up. Oops. I see a quick note in chat. So to address things, um, Habs currently is um, muted. Will be as we bounce around um, between the three-player team and the um, single-player team. Um, you'll be able to hear the chatter that is associated with the different people. So you'll be able to kind of see what's going on, but you can hear all the shot calling from our third player team. Yeah, and right now we're actually gonna let our three player team chit chat amongst themselves while me and Jess give a little bit of an intro of what this uh, is. So good luck three players, I'm, I'm cheering for you. Don't tell, don't tell Habu, okay? Okay, thank <laughs> you. Okay. <laughs> hello, hello. Yeah, hi, so uh, you know, that's the th we're gonna be seeing our players you know, chit chat amongst themselves or Habu chit chat to himself, as we saw. <laughs> but uh, Jess, I want to ask, you know, what is this category in terms of just the speedrun category itself for people who maybe haven't seen a lot of Stardew Valley speedrunning before? Yeah, so right now we are doing the full official title is Community Center Restoration. Um, but the goal of um, the speedrun is um, if you've ever played the game, if you've gotten past Spring 5, there is an abandoned building in the middle of town and um, you're asked if you could fix it to help bring back the community, um, you know, the community center. And so our players are trying to, as quickly as possible, um, complete um, that building. And so we are going to see two different approaches to that, uh, being the multiplayer run and the single player run, which both have the same um, base route, which is pretty neat. Fantastic. I just got to write up a little uh, explanation that I just put in the chat now. So if people are confused, uh, you know, you know what this category is all about. And what I love about Stardew is that you can do it solo or do it multiplayer. And of course, I'm a big fan of co-op runs. So you get to you get to divvy up the work. Like as Lee was saying in her introduction, she's going to be be fishing there, you know, but Habu has to do all of it. So he has to, you know, divvy up his time. So it's going to be really interesting to see how the, uh, the routes diverge here. Yeah, and it's really neat because, as you said, we do have those three players, and so you'll um, will actually be able to see, as Lee is the fisher person, that um, she will be fishing instead of going to the mines um, for something. So you're not able to split that time as Habu, but it means that they can save a couple of hours of in-game time just by doing that. I love the mines personally. I, I like I played a lot of Harvest Moon. I didn't play a ton of Stardew Valley. So I, I feel like I would definitely be the, the mines gal over here in this run. <laughs> awesome possum. Um do you? Are you interested? Maybe we go talk to Habu a bit. He's doing yeah. um, some mines. Let's do it. Let's uh let's let's go uh let's go get out alone over there. I'm delayed. Hey, Habu, we're just, uh, we're, we're checking on in, seeing, like, what's your plan for your route right now, and, uh, how, how's it going? 
Uh, well, I got fortunate where I got a good luck day on the 6th, so I didn't have to go out, forge, and then sleep, because forge resets on the Saturday to Sunday day transition. And then on top of that, I'm just pointing this out because it's a very rare bug. If you saw on floor 1, I had three monsters spawn. The game's not ever supposed to spawn monsters on floor 1. Like, ever. Oh, so that's a very what? rare bug. It does absolutely nothing, but it's rare to see. <laughs> funny uh and then other than that i'm just gathering resources i'm trying to make my way down onto floor 40 or to floor 40 as fast as possible this is where i can start getting iron as fast as possible this is where i can start getting iron but i also want to collect copper Earth sprinklers, and then cold the smelt it. Oh, okay, we're seeing that we're having a bit of an internet moment, potentially. All right, let's do that. We are, we're gonna we're gonna pause for a second, gamers. Don't worry about it. Hi, y'all. So uh, Habu's having a little bit of an internet moment. So we're gonna we're gonna pause for a second if everyone's chill with that, and uh, we'll uh, we'll get Habu back online because we all know you don't really need the advantage, right? You want to beat him fair and square. So. <laughs> it's okay. I can get my mouse back where it belongs. Did you clean up your spelter? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, three-player team. How's it going? What you all been working on? The mines and fishing. Okay. Fishing. Fishing. Yeah. All right, we're going to go to a short break. We'll be back with more Community Center quickly, everyone. Okay. <laughs>
Hello, we are back from the land of nebulous internet to the land of Stardew Valley once again. Uh, to clarify, we are just going to reset from, they're all going to be on the same day, um, day, I, I, day six, I believe. Uh, so we're not going to completely restart from the beginning. Uh, don't worry, but it'll be even for our teams. Everything will be great, and we're going to celebrate that everyone is back and excited and ready to farm. So let's uh, let's count down here, and we'll, uh, we'll keep going in three, two, one. Good luck. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Sure, I'm, I'm not even checking. Sure. <laughs> All right, we will let the teams get back to their shenanigans and uh, we'll talk a little bit about the general strategy. All right, cool. Thank you all for bearing with us. So what's our what's our current plan of what we're going to be doing, Jess, what the, the teams are divvying up and doing for people who maybe just joined us? Yeah, so we are trying to complete uh, the old community center in the center of Stardew Valley as quickly as possible. We have our uh, three-player team is going to be doing that um, as a team. There's only one building, so they only have to fix up one. Um, the Habu is um, going to be doing it all all by him his lonesome, but you know, it's, we're not it's not gonna stop him too much. <laughs> oh yeah, I think this is gonna be end up being really close, which is what I'm I'm super excited about because you're like, wait, three versus one. It, it, when I even heard it at first, I was like, how are they not just going to completely crush him, right? But uh, yeah. how multiplayer works is, you know, pretty interesting. Yeah, so Stardew uses a, um, I believe it's like peer-to-peer -peer connection. So everyone right now on the three-player team is all connected to Terpreter's Wi-Fi, like through their internet going into um, Terp's connection there. And so that's how we end up getting a little bit of that... Um, you know, that good old-fashioned multiplayer lag, which means even with all the stuff that they're able to accomplish, it means that um, it does delay them just enough that um, a single player, just that delay in time um, can keep up. Absolutely. And I see someone in chat being like, wow, they're fast with their tools. I know. Uh, all the Stardew speedrunners are so precise. With everything, it's very impressive. Yeah. All of our players as well, we're running this category um, glitchless, which means that they are using a technique called animation canceling. This was built into the game by the developer because you can sometimes cause yourself to get glitched out while you're fishing. Um, and so he put in a key escape to stop um, like to basically return your character to a neutral state so that you could get out of that fishing animation. Um, but then we found out that you can actually return to that neutral state in a lot of really funky ways. The big one being using their tools to hit really fast. But one of the other ones that we'll see, um, we'll probably pan in when we get that first one because we, we do love a... I see the chat spamming it, a, a glitchless by the way. Yeah. Um, and we'll show that <laughs> off later. I, I'm loving, uh, we have a comment in the chat I feel like we have to bring to our three-player team. Uh, what's their What's their team name? A Terpy something Joe? That is such a, <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> I love it. That I is now their, their full that team name. That is now their team name. But let, let, let's check in with them and tell them that. I think they'll be amused. And we can see uh, how they're doing. I need some. Hey, Terp. Parsnip me. Here, all right, all right, you know what? Here you go. I need more. Oh, no, I just gave you all of them. Oh, my <laughs> dude, you did. <laughs> all right, <laughs> we are fish time. How's it we going in here? You all seem to be really getting along well. Morale is low. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I, I've got something to cheer you up. Uh, we have a suggestion for your team name. Uh, yeah. A Terpy something Joe. <laughs> Ooh, that's I really like you like wholesome. It. I love that. <laughs> that's good. I uh, the the chat is spamming that right now. They're giving you they're giving you good luck. Thank Aww. you, chat. You know, Turpin beats our duo name. 
Uh, don't say it out loud, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, our duo, our duo name is Jorp. Yeah, that's a good name. <laughs> yeah. Did you did you see it's on there? Okay. Yeah, I did. Yeah. So um, I did get two coal from a fishing chest, just so that y'all Huge. Know. Nice. Very nice, very nice. Um, All right, be honest. Right. How's, how's Habu doing? Uh, He's already in fall, dude. Yeah, Whoa. come on. He's already finished his fishing, actually. We're that far behind. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I believe it, though. <laughs> uh, Turp, I'm uh, lagging a tiny bit. I see that, yeah. Yeah. I got it, though. I look cool. I zoom in around. Yeah. Uh, we got a light ring, which is good. Cool. I left a present for you. Can you grab it? No. <laughs> what? I don't want the iron jerk. <laughs> oh. There's some so, mixed seeds down here. I'm gonna grab them too. Real Sorry, quick, go ahead, Jess. I was gonna say real quick for our, our people in the mines. You guys are you guys are kind of zooming, but you're not breaking like all of the rocks. Why why are you doing that? <gasps> the monster floor. Sorry. <clears throat> um, yeah. So there's some patterns in the mines um, where if a, a ladder is not under one rock, that means it most likely will not be in other certain places. What is this? And that that is like a knight's move. Um, it'll be easier when it's not a monster a monster floor to show you, because there are no rocks on monster floors. Yeah, um, the game likes to have patterns. It's like based on a grid, so it moves like Terp said, very yeah. much like the little horsey in chess, or a sideways L, depending on oh, your perspective. Who's calling knight a horse? Come on now. <laughs> well, it's a horsey, is it not? I mean, I'm a checkers guy. I like checkers. You wanna play sometime? Absolutely. <laughs> Does tabletop have checkers? Probably. All right, let's do it. Cool. Okay, uh, a little, a, oh, <laughs> a little fish update here. I just need the carp. Nice. <laughs> come and join y'all. Nice. Very nice. You wanna go check? Um, we got the club. Let's go. Dibs. Oh, I'm running, dude. I'm running. No, no, no. I want. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. We're so, not a team. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Terp, Not did you just? About you're predicting us. something there. You're saying you like, like hey, I mean, you know you're gonna there? break those crates, and I mean, you said there was a club before you even got there. True. You wanna know Are why? Are you Jess? cheating? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> um, yes. What I'm doing. What I'm doing. <laughs> at least is, you're honest. Oh, <laughs> is you can tell um, with crates that are set up like Over that. Here. It happens also in. Oh, okay. Um, it happens on floor 3, 9, 24, and so on and so forth when there are always going to be crates in certain spots. You right. can tell what um, what is inside the crates based on the day. So since it is Friday the 5th, um, we knew that the club was going to be in a certain chest. And it's very helpful for... Um, in like other speedruns, like Mines 50, if you don't see a club in that crate, you might just want to pass it all together. Wow, all Thank right. You. That makes a lot of sense. That's super cool. Yeah. yeah. The knowledge you all have about this game is just very impressive. Of just like the encyclopedic knowledge of everything that you all use to the max when you're speed running. So. True. And it's very useful. And we share knowledge a lot too. Mm -hmm. So if somebody finds something out, um, the community is really cool about sharing it. You grab that iron turp. I don't have room. Uh, no. What? Uh, and then oh, there's a ladder down here. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Real quick, I'd love to check in with Lee as she's fishing here as well, since um, you said you only have carp left. What I sort of fish here. are you catching? I'm gonna go to the bottom for weapon. Um. Cool. So the mines is over to the corner here. I am catching all of the fish that are in the upper lake here, um, the mountain lake in Stardew Valley. So um, we need a chub, which was that gray fish that I just caught. Um, I also have a bullhead, here's the carp, and a largemouth bass. So essentially everything that we can catch from uh, from this upper lake at a time. Um, and I mean, you just called- to complete a whole bundle. <laughs> nice. And you just called that fish too. You like, yeah. you, know, you hooked it immediately and you're like, this is a carp. You didn't even reel it in. Um, the fun thing about fishing is that you can tell the different patterns of what the fish are. So if you play this game enough, uh, like most of us here, um, <laughs> we get used to identifying what um, 
fish we're going to get based upon the pattern that the bar moves within the wow within the fishing mechanism that's game. really cool so because that fish was hanging out at the bottom for a really long time i know out of the fish that you can get in the mountain lake it's going to be it's going to be a carp nice well i think we'll you guys um looks like um Terp and Joe are in the dark floor, so let's maybe go check in with um, Habu for a bit so yeah. you guys can communicate um, where you guys are going. Let's do that. We'll see you later. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, I... <laughs> hey, Habu. We're just stopping on in, seeing how you're doing in the mines. What's, what's uh, cooking over here? Uh, I am out of food already, but I got a funny club. Uh, clubs are like the best weapon type in this game, so it's very nice to get, but it's like I ran out of food very quickly. I only got the 25, so that's a little unfortunate. So I'm going to pass out here and like try again on another good luck day. But I got a bunch of like resources, which is fine. It's just not enough food for what I want to do. I, I am a little clueless. When you pass out, do you lose any of your stuff or it's just like you lose your progress in the mines? You, when you pass out, you lose 10% of your current funds, capping okay. at 1,000. And since I have 500 gold, I only lose 500 gold. You'll also wake up the next day with less energy if mm. you don't level up. But since I'm low levels, I'm just going to level up every single time. Oh, okay. Cool. So sometimes it's strategic to pass out in terms of yeah, like you, you kind of know what you're doing. It gets you back to your house, all that good stuff. Cool. Makes sense. You will lose items if you die, but that's only when your HP hits zero, which hopefully will not happen. It shouldn't when I have a club. Yeah, so tell us about the club a bit. Um, you know, like the three-player team also got a club. They seemed really excited about it. You've got a club. You seem excited about it. What's up with clubs? So... Uh, for a casual's point of view, generally they just like the fast swing weapons because they just like to press left click. And so do I. It's the dopamine in intake of just being able to hit enemies as fast as possible. Clubs generally swing slower because of uh, their high base damage. So it's a, it's a different uh, weapon type, essentially. And animation canceling completely negates the slow weapon swing of the club, so you get the full speed of the sword while getting the damage of a club, so it's just better there. And then on top of that, uh, it has a quirk with its special attack. The sword's special attack is just a block, so it blocks damage most of the time. Sometimes it just doesn't work. Uh, but the club does an AoE smash attack around you. And this smash attack can... Why am I going to floor one? The smash attack can be chained hit. So if you spam uh, left click while uh, or right after you use the special attack, it will just chain in additional hits, which causes you to do a lot of damage like that. Wow. So you can instant kill most mobs. So the weapon that we're trying to get early is the club because we'll be able to just instant kill every frost enemy later on once we get into the frost floors. That's Thank you for that reason. rundown. Yeah, that, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. That's super interesting. Nice. The other weapon type, which is a dagger, can technically do the same thing, but it's like it's small range and it's a single like target attack, so it's not as good. It also doesn't last as long, so there's that downside. But yeah, other than that, I'm just looking for resources in the mines. I still need another mm, 30 copper and then i need to collect 70 iron i want around 30 eh, 38 coal will be ideal but i can get away with less and yeah hopefully i can actually make it to 40 this day ideally we do the mines in two days over uh over three but since it's a marathon if i don't get lucky on the first day like i did here uh sometimes you just gotta take the l and do three days Makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. Cool. I think we'll uh we'll let you be while you're 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 going off and doing that. And uh me and Jess are just gonna just maybe chit chat a little bit about general Stardew Valley speedrunning because the chat's been talking about that. So good luck with your, yeah. your minds adventure. Thank you. 
All right, so so Valiant, you are of course also a very prolific Stardew Valley speedrunner. You've done a ton of marathons before, stuff like that. Uh, if there's people in the chat who are like, "I this looks really intimidating," or "I like Stardew and I want to get into speedrunning," but it seems like there's a lot going on, like how how can people get involved? How can people watch other stuff that's going on, stuff like that? Yeah, so um, if you want to get into Stardew Valley speedrunning, um, first off, we have a Discord, which is super duper cool. Um, actually, I think almost Arius, um, me, Terpreter, and um, the Habu are actually all verifiers for the speedrun board as well, um, which is also why we have um, a lot of knowledge in there, because we got to make sure to verify those runs or following the rules. Um, but the real good news, at least, um, is that I just lost my train of thought. Um, if you're, you're into too mesmerized starting, by the chat yeah. copy pastas, <laughs> I really <laughs> am. <laughs> um, you talk about the Discord, you know that kind yeah. of stuff. Um, if you want to speedrun Stardew Valley, you may be looking at this and you're like, that estimate is huge. That's such a long speedrun. But the good news is um, you can start out a lot smaller. So I actually started with doing the crafts room, which is just one of the six bundles in the community center. Um, so all of our runners will have to complete all of those bundles, but there are speedruns for completing just each individual one as well. Um, additionally, if you love the mines, um, which I think you mentioned earlier that you do, Court, um, there is a speed run to get to floor 50 as quickly as possible, as well as floor 120. Um, so all of those are like, um, at, I mean, at top tier level, you're under 20 minutes for the crafts room, or under 25 minutes for the crafts room. Um, under, I think, like, the world record's like 12 minutes for floor 50. Um, but when you're just starting out, they're both really great for, like, under, like, a 45-minute run to, like, get used to and run, run, and then you can start going, you know, a lot faster as you learn. Yeah, absolutely. I love games that have a bunch of different categories that let you just... You know, if you want to play a three-hour category, some people really like that, especially because RNG is so swingy, or if you want to just get really good at a short category. And also, I know that there are both seated and unseated speedruns, so that means that seated, you know exactly what's going to happen, uh, versus seated is much more random, and you can, that, you know, that's even a difference in what kind of run that you can learn, and I think that's, that's so much fun. I personally, I really like runs that are about an hour, so I know that there's categories out there that would be totally, totally good for me. Yeah, and what I really like too about the seated runs for Stardew Valley um, is the fact that um, there is a lot of stuff controlled by seed, but there is also a lot of stuff um, controlled by other factors in the game. So for example, um, the number of steps you take in the game can affect what your weather is, what luck you get, and a bunch of other things that are super important that even when you're playing seated, there are still going to be things that happen that you can't control yep, for. Absolutely, which is, which is really cool. Uh, I, that's what I like games that have just like, you know, a smidge of, of spice. <laughs> then it's not all my fault if I'm slow, you know? You know, exactly. <laughs> oh, but man. Uh, also, we have a prediction going right now. Who you think is going to win. It is incredibly close, by the way. We have a 46% for a 20-something toe and a 54% <laughs> for a boo. Uh, so get your channel points in now. Oh man, and it, it looks like, so what's very fun here is um, the like the three player team got rain on their second mines day. So what this means is that if um, Lee is able to catch a, it's spring. So if she's able to catch a catfish here, they actually save a massive amount of time um, and like resources later in the run. Uh, the only tough thing will be um, the fact that if you've ever, I mean, the fishing mini game in Stardew Valley is a time, and the catfish is one of the more difficult fish that you can catch in the game, and she is a fairly low level right now, mm -hmm. uh, but the fact that she's getting a chance at this so early is fairly rare, so it's exciting to see Ooh. them get that opportunity. That, that's awesome. 
Yeah, do we want to go uh, check in and say hi with them? Yeah, I see they're doing some cool multiplayer minds resets as well, so we can learn a bunch going in there now. All right, let's uh, let's go check on in with our three-player team. Nice high rolls, actually. Nice. I have 11 on me. How much do we need? We need, like, um, So I had 94, so yeah, we need, like... 20. Don't worry, my two iron definitely do count. Yeah, yeah, Oh, wait, yeah. no, you yes. guys are counting copper. All right, uh, 12, 20. <laughs> okay. What's up, gamers? How's it going up in here? Howdy. Oh, it is going. We're just looking for some copper right now. We're a little short. We need 110, preferably 115. Um, it more to, the merrier, yeah. Yeah, the more the merrier, but we're a little short, so we're having to reset the mines. And in multiplayer, it's a little more difficult because um, once we're at the top of the mines, we both have to wait a 10-minute interval in order to reset the, the mines, whereas in single player, you can just reset it immediately. So, yeah. How much do you have? Which is... Kind of um, why I'm also I not in the with them. It's okay, I have 23. I'll make it a little bit easier. Oh, you have 23? All right, we're good yeah. then. Let's go. All right, I'm going to go merge our funds. Okay, so Lee, we just go back then? Okay. Prepare How do you all, yeah, like, give. I'm going to give you foraging stuff. Here, here, here. How do you all actually give room. each other items? That's a, like, you, Do you just like go up to each other and you can like, I don't trade? Have room. Oh, why? Did you not drop it? <laughs> Sorry, you, sorry, what was that question? No, you're good. I'm asking how you trade, but it seems like you're having a little snafu. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> trying to shove my someone backpack full of your stuff, huh? Someone forgot to... Uh, someone forgot to put stuff in the chest at home. <laughs> yeah, it didn't and forget. I filled up. Watch the VOD, no. Turp. Watch it. <laughs> also, I got a moral for us, too. You nice. can give people items either by putting them in a chest or just by opening up your inventory and tossing them out. You can also... Hands people stuff as well. That is true. Oh, so if you sweet. just like drop stuff on the floor, Oops. if you're in a game they with someone, they can go run and pick it up later. Yep. Yeah. Oh, does it, is there like a time limit on it, or it just lives there forever? Kinda. It it'll stay there as long as uh, you don't reset the game. So if you like quit ah. out and load back in, that seems helpful it'll, it'll for like on. you know yeah. since you all aren't going to be turning off the game in this run, you can just drop stuff if you wanted. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, definitely. It is It is very helpful in that way. Um, Am I making the forge? And then I just merged the funds, so we'll have a lot more money tomorrow. Did you make the forge or no? No, because I gave you the copper and the stone. Okay, I just don't want to, you know, do the thing. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So, Terp, you said you're merging the funds? Wait, you have more money? Yeah, so it's a little, a little hack you can do with the... Uh, multiplayer in that everybody can uh wait what oh joe are you i was gonna sell stuff so i didn't know what you're doing oh okay okay gotcha oh are i could have sold my, my it's fine i didn't snips. sell anything yet we can just do it oh, okay, okay, okay yeah yeah sounds good um anyway what was, oh yeah so um each player if we start off with separate funds um each player can um can start with 500 and then we merge the funds and makes it so that we all have money together and then it uh it adds up to 1500 no yeah three times five yeah <laughs> well we also pass out so that's actually wrong yeah um and i need well it says 1500 <laughs> in the right top right so well, if you just i can't read look -sees. yeah um can you <laughs> hand me the coal <laughs> yeah also why, i need to wa I need why did a you give me all of this stuff in the first place that's a really Turp, you're good tearing question. us apart. I got the. <laughs> Joe! <Don't. laughs> I got the watering. It's fine. Why'd you put some down see, there? The real competition isn't Habu. It's just us. <laughs> yeah, we fight. <laughs> we tend to fight with each other all the time. Like, that's in a, how you know, co-op runs have to go. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. some co-op teams that are so sweet to each other and just like, oh, mm -hmm. sorry. And then there's some that's just pure banter for three hours. And listen, I'm here for that. We're we're just have, when you have two alphas. <laughs> okay, we sell today, and also I stole one of your potatoes. It was a misclick. Joe! It was a misclick. No. We didn't get extras. It's fine. Also, oh, I have 16 no. cores. You gotta sell today. Yeah, yeah no, I got it. Yeah. If yeah. Terp doesn't get farming level two, it's all that potato's fault. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> um, Let's see. We'll probably. Um, oh, okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're okay. We're okay. We're fine. Yeah, actually, um, you know, I'll give you guys a little hint. You guys are closing in on exactly the same day. Um, so, um, Court, 
there's some really cool stuff um, that, I mean, both teams right now are going to be kind of focusing on setting up some really cool things. So if you want to can give them time to focus a little bit. Yeah, let's uh, let's pop out and you can give us a lowdown of uh, what both teams are, are doing as we're getting real close. So we'll see you later. Good luck, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so, I mean, it's looking pretty close, right? Yeah, it is. I'm actually um, a little bit surprised at how close it is right now, um, given um, just, I guess I don't know. For some reason, I'm like <laughs> surprised. I'm like, oh yeah, this is really close right now, but it is definitely early on. Um, there's no reason they shouldn't be very close. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it seems like both teams have been having a, a decent amount of luck with certain things. Um, and so they're able to just like continue moving, not getting too stuck on anything. Yeah. Um, and so right now what both teams are doing is they're setting up for spring 13, um, which is the day of the egg festival. Um, and unfortunately we won't be doing the egg hunt, um, though, um, that is a great, great time. Um, and a bit of a challenge run in itself is to see how many, um, like eggs you can get at the egg hunt. Um, but what they're going to be doing there is actually buying strawberries. Um, strawberries are a crop that you can plant and you can harvest multiple times if you've ever grown strawberries in real life. Um, and they also make a lot of money. And the only place you can buy them is the Egg Festival. All right, cool. Yeah, so there's like going to be certain kind of checkpoints in the cycle of the year, right? Like you said, like that, that festival and other stuff like that. Um, around when... Or is the goal for them to complete the community centers? They're kind of like a window of time where they're expecting to have it done. Yeah, so um, our players will be going into the second year and will probably finish, um, if everything goes well, it'll be fall 14, I okay. believe, um, cool, cool, of cool. year two. That's, a, that's um, a good ballpark range so people in the audience can kind of know, oh, okay, that's how much of the game we're going to be seeing. That's how long it takes to get all of the resources required. Yeah, a lot of that, luckily, though, is, um, well, I guess, for our players, um, is sleeping. So even though <laughs> um, we know where um, they're going to kind of end up, um, you it's kind of hard to estimate based on like where you are on a given like day sometimes to be like well how far am i into this run um because a lot of the action is front loaded here yeah. um in the first year that makes a lot of sense it makes a lot of sense uh, but yeah we can see right now um for example interpreters going buying um her strawberries for her team and then they are just immediately leaving the festival and you'll also notice that um, both teams have a, a very interesting layout um, for their crops right now um, and you may be looking and you're like yeah that's like why um, but as Habu mentioned earlier uh, they are going to be building sprinklers and the sprinklers that they'll be able to build um, only water like northeast, um, southwest. And so this is the, um, you know, for my math, my mathletes in the, in the <laughs> chat, um, this is an optimal packing of that pattern um, so that you don't have to walk very far for watering. Um, and then you're able to utilize all the space that you can there. So that's what the, the weird crop circles are that we're that doing right sense, now. It makes sense that there's an optimal way for you to plant everything because don't, you don't want to be like, if you do it in rows, then you have to sit there and go. It, it wastes a lot of time. So it makes yeah. a ton of sense that the pattern, I, and I can see the pattern, like you got Turp and you've got Habu making very similar kind of how they shape it. So it's very interesting. Yeah, it's very, very fun. Um, and yeah, both of our teams basically are going to be watering um, and then sleeping. Um, we made the joke earlier that um, that one potato that Joe harvested might have stolen level two farming from <laughs> Terp. Um, and it does appear potentially so. Um, so one of the benefits of playing with multiplayer is we did start with those um, 
you know, 45 parsnips instead of just the um, usual um, 15. And so you're actually able to get to level two farming with 48 parsnips. Um, so that's why they have the random seeds planted. And then that's when you're able to actually craft the sprinklers that they're trying to get. Cool. And so um, multiplayer benefits from potentially being able to build those sprinklers immediately. And then you never have to go outside during the spring. However, um, since they didn't get that level there, um, they're going to have to, you know, go back and forth there. That makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning so much from just watching this. Like, I've hosted Stardew Valley, sh like, on my show before, but every single time I learn something new about how the different things work or about how multiplayer works, and uh, this is no exception. This is really cool. Yeah, there, there's a lot that goes on, and we're, um, like Terp mentioned earlier, we love sharing all this information that we have about the game, and so... Um, it's just a really great time. Um, and yeah, we can actually see real quick is that um, Habu right now um, on the 24th was able to put down his sprinklers. Um, and we can see Terp was able to harvest, I believe, the cauliflower, got her that level two. And so they're putting their sprinklers out on the 18th now. So they don't have to, uh, they save a couple of days of being able to go to sleep instead of having to go out and water. Sweet. Do we want to? Uh, do we want to check it on Habu? It's been a little bit. We it can, has been uh, a little bit. See, see how he's doing, how he's feeling about his luck so far. Yeah, and he's about to go into a very interesting day, so Ooh, we'll have right. plenty to say. Let's uh, let's go let's go say hi. Hey, Habu, how's it going? Been a, been a little bit since we checked in with you. I heard we have something exciting coming up. Do you want to talk about that? Uh. Wait, sorry, I have to think about my patterns here. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, Jess was telling me about the optimal planting strategy. There, yeah, you have to plant in a specific pattern because we're making spots for different types of sprinklers later, and they are. Uh, yeah, if I mess it up, it's going to have a bad consequence later. And also, I'm trying to do this all before like. It hits eight because that's when the next cutscene happens. Because this game is very uh, timing based in terms of like it's you don't lose time as long as you do things fast enough because you can't do it any faster than shops open. But if you do them slow, then yeah, that's where you start to lose time. Yeah, and you're here on summer one um, on a rank of like days, um, like worst days in um, Stardew Valley speedruns, where would you put um, summer one, year one? Uh, honestly, this one is mostly chill. Once you have the pattern down, it's not so bad. I say that as like, I'm very slow about this. I had, I didn't get as much clearing done in spring as I would have liked was the main issue. Oh, I can leave right away to the inventory beforehand. Uh, so yeah, as long as I'm in the ne oh, it's eight ten. I was about to say, as long as I'm in the next screen before eight ten, you don't lose time. But unfortunate. Yeah, the fact that there's like there's the real time clock going, and then of course you have you have like your health and you have your energy, right? Balancing all of those things seems to be really a big part of long categories like this. Yeah, this game. I mean, the animation canceling part and like the fishing part definitely gives it like the macro skill that a lot of other games have, but it's this game's a lot of menuing, especially for a category as long as this. You have, what, like 100 different items that you can turn into the community center, finding the fastest individual route, which items is the fastest to turn in, and getting them as quickly as possible is definitely a tall order. And then remembering what items you have because it changes depending on, like, what run you're at. You don't oh always get the Oh my gosh. That part of it I think would items. kill me. Of like, wait, I've been doing five different Stardew categories. What am I actually picking up? Like, what do I need to have? <laughs> that part would definitely be tough for me remembering everything. But I guess you all do it so much that it, it becomes second nature, right? Yeah, for the most part. 
Because in ideally, I didn't have as much money as I would have liked going into uh, summer. So it's like there, I generally buy 55 blueberries because it takes like three less clicks because you can buy from the shops five or one, five and 25 at a time. So doing in the least amount of clicks like is optimal. But if you don't have enough money, you kind of have to like slow down and be like, all right, I got to buy exact here. Which sucks, but it has to be done. Oh, yeah. that is a misplant blueberry, because I'm used to having one extra. Oh, uh, well. We'll just get extra hot peppers for that. Oh, nice. An early hot pepper. Yep. And the, Hopefully you won't mean get the good, by the yeah. And the, the good thing is, you're playing single player, so you don't have to argue over who gets the backpack upgrade. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm supposed to do the full menu here. Right, that... Oh yeah, I picked up the extra force just in case. <laughs> All right, well yeah, thanks my for, mind's did not thanks for updating well. us on everything you're doing. There's a lot to think about. Holy yeah. cow. <laughs> Especially when you don't have people reminding you what to do. <laughs> right. You're on your yeah. own. <laughs> I mean, chat is here. You can have, ch I mean, probably yeah, not, I actually. Could. I'll text you um, just what you need to remember. <laughs> I'll, I'll just relay what chat's Yes, you can't you. help him. Come on. I mean, He's I'm already won all the other times they here. practiced. <laughs> now, yeah, now I'm praying for four rain days in summer because I don't want to have to water the weed. I'm guaranteed two, one on the 13th and the 26th, but I need two natural rain days. <laughs> And if this goes like the last time we did this little competition, I'm going to have to water twice. Oh, very fun. Yeah. Well, we're going to go um, distract the other team, I think, now. Um, so have fun with your rain. I hope it goes well. I'm on the 13th and I didn't get any rain yet. <laughs> you know, sometimes that's how it be. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck, Haboo. Let's go see thank all you, the three you. players. Are Let's to do win. it. Let's go say hi. <laughs> Let's spot in that whoa, two whoa, seconds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not a hundred. We only need yeah. the 58. Hello. Oh, have you all been yeah. behaving in <laughs> here? Most of it's already watered me. All right. The extra spot actually is so nice, I think though. you're. I think you're being a little... Uh... I think your expectations were a little high. You guys are tearing each other apart right now. I need you to relax and Okay, down, so things are going well in here. I, <laughs> I can see I walked into a very uh, comfortable, kind conversation between the three-player team. Tensions are high right now, yes. Yeah. We got to win, man. We got to win. All right, what's your, what's your path to victory right now? Catch us up. What do you need to do? We're Come doing... Water. Oops. Press F. That's fine. A little a little heads up would have been nice, Terp. That, that's well, funny. I forgot. That's cool, man. It's cool. I'm Maybe just be good you. and you'd know it would be happening anyway. I, well, I've used that line on you and you literally <laughs> just say, okay, don't do that. <laughs> so uh, anyway, yeah, so the path to victory, huh? Um, yeah, we, uh, we're currently... One of us is being sent to the mines for iron because we were a little low, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. And we need to plant, I think we're doing the 58 safe blueberry strats, aka that's more yep. than usual, just to, because there's so much more manpower in multiplayer, you might as well. Yeah. Um, uh oh. And uh, usually you get 54 blueberries, we're doing 58 though, just as like a little yeah. bit of a safety strat. I forgot to bring a weapon. We don't need coal, right? No, we have a lot of coal. Cool, I brought a lot of stuff I shouldn't have. Oh. And yeah, one of those things we see right now is um, Lee is watering where um, they're going to be planting um, their wheat. Mm. Uh, you know, Habu was saying, oh, well, I hope I get rain um, for my wheat because I don't want to have to water it. Um, and that's another benefit we're seeing right now of having multiple players is we can actually, you know, only have to pray for one extra rain day instead of two. Yeah, that's a really good point. We, uh... We're also doing early gifting strats as well, which is a little bit different than solo play because gifting can be a little brutal sometimes. We're gonna do it uh, year one. So we have to water the blueberries, make sure they're all watered year one. What, and is, on the, the 14th, what does the gifting mean? Can you go, step back a little oh, sure, bit and sure, explain sure. that? So when you give people gifts in the game, it's kind of a hard thing to describe on the fly, 
but basically they can potentially give you an item and some of the items that they give we can get uh, instead of going and getting them organically so like fire quartz is the big one and we could get fire quartz by giving the our dear friend wizard man a purple mushroom oh I cool. I'm having a hard time here and we uh, basically what happens is that you have a percent chance based off of how many hearts the individual has and we intentionally will check the mail at a certain point to see if we get a gift and if you get a gift from him or anybody you can actually reset the day if you don't get the gift that you want from them so you can like re-roll it and that's how we manipulate the game to get specific items to help us in the uh, community center if that makes sense Oh yeah, that makes a ton of sense. Thank you for thank you for explaining that. Sure. Uh, Turp, how much do we need iron wise? Um, we only need one. What? <laughs> I got fourteen. Uh, okay. Well, good job. Out. <laughs> then come back and let's yeah, yeah, yeah. go to bed. Yeah. Because cool. now we will just sleep until the fourteenth this time. Okay, we need one grape. Yeah. I got the other two. Okay. All right. We'll be able to look. We'll let you well, guys you focus maybe for a little bit. Or uh, actually, um, that is. Um, uh, oh, I got kicked. Uh, what happened? Yeah. Okay, okay, just come back just in. Just join back in. We'll okay. wait for you. Um, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, Court, let let we'll chat a little bit. Um, and yeah, we'll, let's let's do that. We'll let them be. Can we'll catch the, the audience up. Thing. We can answer some audience questions, but uh, good luck, three-player team. We'll see you in a bit. Thank you. Good luck. All right, yeah. This is a great time, I think, like, anyone in the audience, if you all have questions for, for Valiant Sun, for myself, like, about Hotfix or about Stardew, this is a great time. Or about, like, the run itself, if you want any clarification on anything you've heard so far. Um, but this has been super fun to watch. Yeah. Um, I saw one of the things in um, the chat, which I think um, until I see another pop pop up question, um, I'll explain the f um, friendship thing a little Ooh, bit that they're yeah. doing. Um, so some of the characters, basically all of the non romanceable characters, except for Emily and Shane, who started as not romanceable and then became romanceable, um, have a chance to um, like send you things in the mail once you get a high enough friendship level with them. You know, just like send your friend a little gift. And so what um, we're doing is we're using some strategies that we actually took from marriage speedruns and have integrated them into the, th um, into the community center. Cause that's another run you can do is if you like the villagers, uh, you can speed run uh, marrying them as quickly as possible. Um, and so, um, fire quartz, you have to get to level 40 of the mines in order to get that. Or we can go visit the wizard on winter 17, give him a loved gift, and then we have a very high chance of him, you know, sending us a gift in the mail. Oh, um, cool. Yeah. And then on, um, we'll have our first, um, split because um, I see someone in the chat, we have a new strat for multiplayer coming up, which is um, typically for this run, you wait until the year two to give a gift to Demetrius, um, who is the local scientist. And that's why we have strawberries, um, because he loves strawberries. Um, he can gift us a Nautilus shell, which is exclusive to winter. And as we said, we are actually um, not going to winter um, in that second year. So that saves us about a m like two weeks of sleeping at least. Wow. Um, if we can get I mean, a Nautilus that's huge. shell. Yeah. And if you have a really cool. good fishing day as well, um, then you actually don't have to go and fish until 6 p.m. to catch a bream or a brim um, because Demetrius can also send you a fish in the mail um, mm. that is very useful as well. That's super interesting. I didn't really consider the whole like friendship 
like other the NPCs in this kind of category, right? Because I've seen a ton of marriage percent categories and you're like, of course, I need to focus on this one player. But I didn't consider that we could get items and benefits from a lot of the different characters during this kind of run. So that's really cool. Yeah, it honestly was actually just integrated very recently. And that's how um, we've gone from um, Habu's old world record was something I think around like three hours, like 30. And that's how we've actually gotten this run down to two and a half hours now um, is through this friendship gifting. It's completely kind of revolutionized the category. Wow, that's awesome. That's really, really cool. And and this game is still like getting updates and stuff, right? Like, Yeah, we have a 1.6 um, patch coming out soon. And um, Concerned Ape, the developer actually, is um, came and chatted with us um, as speedrunners and asked what sort of things we wanted in the game and also Aww. reached out to a bunch of the modders for the community because um, like he loves that people like the game enough to mod it. Um, and so, so he's sweet. trying to find ways to make it easier for them. I love when developers are all in on supporting the speedrunning community, making sure that changes to the casual experience aren't negatively impacting speedrunners, and even wanting to like help them and help modders. That's fantastic. Cool. Um, but I'm going to say um, Joe's about to go to sleep. Um, so we will um, maybe take a real quick break. Yeah, let's go say hi to break. everyone. We're going to drag everyone in the same room and say we're going to go to break. Yeah. Hey, everyone. Okay. I think we're going to... Can we pause? Yeah. This is going to be our good yeah. spot to pause. It looks like all of you are at home sleeping. So that was brilliant coordination on y'all's mm -hmm. part. Thank you so much for making my life easier. I know that was the entire reason you did that. <laughs> So, quick temperature check. How are you? How are you all feeling as we go to our first break? Feeling great. Uh, I feel I've, pretty good, actually. Yeah, our I, team synergy's through the roof right now. <laughs> it is. <laughs> our team is synergy, bickering. Yeah. Those are definitely synonyms. Yeah. Mm, they are. They are uh, words sure. that I used. Yes. <laughs> our team is very excited um, because we just got an item that is fairly difficult to get, a or run like killer, it's RNG you will. based, mm -hmm. um, the from the traveling already. car. No, we got the no, dude, we got foot. the. We got, uh, <laughs> I was gonna I mean, say purple mushroom, but yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's exciting! Oh. Yeah, we're in winter no. right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, crazy. I'm sure. Wait, how far are you? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right. Well, well perfect. Oh. No, already. <laughs> we we. Uh, I'm so excited to keep going with this race. It's been so much fun to watch. Uh, everyone, before we we go to our break, just want to say, stay tuned. We're not going anywhere. We're going to get to see the rest of it. Please, if you're not already following everyone involved, please follow the amazing people involved in this. This has been so much fun to watch. And also my co-host, The Valiant Sun. And this is going to be also put up on YouTube in a couple of days. So you can watch it again. You know, give us a like. Su subscribe to us on YouTube as well to see this show and other topics one-offs. But we're going to go to a quick break. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Stardew Valley Collab Hotfix Takeover. We have been doing a three-player versus one-player community center race. We are having such a great time. We've got a 20-something loser, Joe TG Interpreter versus the Habu. And we're I'm so excited for this. We literally cut and they're bantering with each other. They're riled up, ready to get back to the race. Everyone want to say hi real quick? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. We're at the end of fall. There, there, yeah. yeah, there we go. I there we go. About we that. got rabbit's foot, dude. Yeah. Where do you think we're at? I mean, room? that's just a traveling cart check. <laughs> I'll get it to cope. Yeah. Yep. Keep coping, buddy. Good All luck. right. So, Jess, do you want to count us back in and uh, we will let them run off to the races and kind of catch chat up on what's going on before checking in with our teams? Does that sound, does that sound good? Yeah, um, guys, we're going to get restarted here in three, two, one, go. Good luck. Oh, I don't need to go outside. Did we water? 
We don't need water. Yesterday, right? What do we need to water? Oh, for? the energy I'm is so me. good right so now. I'm ago. loving it. <laughs> Sprinklies. I just love that the well, print, like, last thing that I just heard was, did we water? I know. I'm sorry. It's on the 18th. Okay. Yeah. It's oh, so much fun. I mean, you got the three players able to communicate with each other and go back and forth on what's happening. And then Habu can just, you know, laser focus, figure out everything that's going on. And as a result, they're really close. Yeah, they definitely are. And Habu actually got a massive, um, I mean, the um, three player team got a massive time save right before we went to break, but Habu also got a massive time save as well. So it's very interesting to see how um, well both these teams are um, kind of hitting this. It's almost mm -hmm. like a bummer that we had to like take a break because um, like they're on some really good pace numbers right now. Yeah, absolutely. It's going to be um, really fun to see what the times end up being. Yeah, so for for chat right now, both the teams, um, we've got the three-player team is on summer 18th. And um, right now, Habu is around um, summer 27. Um, so they are actually, like, it may not seem like they're very close, but they are um, still... Um, Pretty, pretty close and lined up there because there's a lo just a lot of sleeping that's going on. Um, but our our two big time saves that we had, Court, um, one of them was um, Habu in the mines on the 20th, um, which is your mines day three, mm -hmm. if you ever look at the run sheet. Okay. Um, for a single player, you go from floor 40 to floor 50 on that day. Um, and Habu was able to go from 40 to 45. Solid. Very, very, very solid. Yeah. Um, but our bigger one that we got was the three-player team had a traveling cart check, which is um, this lovely lady that's actually on the three-player screen right now. Um, she sells things, and they got a rabbit's foot. Um, which is a purely RNG drop um, based off of, um, like, we have to buy rabbits, and then we, there's no way to guarantee it. You just have to hope. Yeah, they, they, were, pop, they were popping off about it. They were, yeah. they were razzing Habu, and I don't think Habu believed them, but it's like, no, 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 they actually did get it. So yeah. what's that going to mean for them? Why, why is that so important again? Um, it means that they're, um, they do have to buy a rabbit, but a rabbit is guaranteed to drop wool. Um, mm. but you just kind of have to wait until it drops a rabbit's foot. Um, so, okay, wow. So that's great. They don't have yeah. to worry about that anymore. Yeah. They also got a large milk in the cart as well, which means they won't have to buy a cow. So they're saving a lot of money that's great that, i'm pretty hopeful for them do you want to also kind of catch chat up on like uh they've raced this before they've done the three versus one as practice how has that gone every time yeah um uh, so the we actually haven't done a 3v1 yet um okay okay on, on stream they've done we've done a 4v1 um oh. where i was the fourth player um by not having me, they are one less person trying to connect to the peer-to-peer -peer, um, connection, and I, so I'm the furthest away, so probably saves them a bit of time there. Um, but it is very cool to see um, some of the optimizations that have come out. Um, this route that the multiplayer team is using is a combination of... Um, like a um, just watching Habu's run, basically taking down notes, and then um, Terp and I have gone through and found places like where can we assign tasks to kind of better take advantage of these things. That's really cool. I'm I'm sure it's very interesting to like divvy out the route in terms of like you got solo, duo, three, four, you know, just divvying up the things. And is it like finding the optimal number of players? Is, is kind of yeah. interesting. Um, and real quick, we're going to see the first, or not our first glitch list, by the way, but first one for single player. Um, so you'll notice right now, um, there's actually cutscenes playing in the community center. 
Um, the camera is going to start panning, and you're not supposed to be able to move here. Um, but with the animation canceling that we mentioned before, so it's how all of our tools are being used so quickly, by returning the farmer to the neutral state, the game no longer thinks that you're um, in the cutscene anymore. And so you're actually able to move around like this. Um, cool. And so being able to do that um, was very, um, it was like in high contention when they figured out you could do that. Like, is yeah. this considered a glitch or mm. not? Or is it allowed um, to happen? And clearly it, it's allowed, right? Because we just saw it, that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ended That's up good. being allowed. And so there are some categories that actually um, people have been able to take records just purely off the fact that um, you're able to um, like now skip out of those cutscenes. Um, but there are still times that people started rerunning and even with like the added, you know, 15 seconds you can get from not having to wait for those cutscenes, where people are still holding on to those records. Mm. It's very fun to watch. That's really cool. That's super cool. Do we want to uh, check in with uh, one of our teams? What are you thinking? Yeah, let's... Actually, the three-player team right now, they're moving around on um, Summer 19, which earlier we mentioned Summer 20 for Habu being an important day. So this is a brand new strat never before seen for this multiplayer team. So, so well, I, that seems like, let's, let's go check in on them then. You were yeah. on it, Joe. You were on it, like blue bonnet. I wasn't joking, I'm carrying. Uh, Turk, uh, let us know when you're I'm on your way back. <laughs> we can get in bed. <laughs> what is up? Gamers. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, I feel like you always oh, come in when we're just seeing each other. Hey, what's up? <laughs> yeah, we're just building team synergy some more. How are you guys? <laughs> yep. How close are you, you guys to the farm? <laughs> I'm, I'm on the farm now. Oh, oh. move. Like, like, it's right. there. It's there. It's there. I was putting extra wood in. Jess was telling me there's some uh, exciting multiplayer strat hip happening uh, in this day. What are you all? What are you all up to right now? Um, Today's the so gifting day. There's a lot, actually. Yeah. Uh, Lee, take it away. Uh, what we had just finished up is we finished gifting a golden um, strawberry. Each of us gifting a golden strawberry to Demetrius. Mm -hmm. um, so kind of what we explained before, when you get some cool things in the mail, um, specifically, we can get something called a Nautilus shell um, or a bream from Demetrius um, by him getting mail. Watch the TV. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so while some of us were going to go gift, Joe was also in the mine grabbing extra iron, and Terp was also um, selling our blueberries and grabbing some extra uh, gold for us as well. Skipped a rock for good luck. It's very imperative that we talk about that too. Yep. I tried to fish. Sweet. Did not work out. Small <laughs> now we're just sleeping until uh, uh, fall, and then we get to fish together. Go out, Terp. Harvest. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> I, I had to uh, forge the bars as I well, know, I was, so I, yep. I was forged in the bars. <laughs> <laughs> Joe just saying that we're just going to sleep until fall, just making sure you're aware. We do oh. oh, well, I meant we as in the sense of me and Lee. Uh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Of course. <laughs> you got to be yeah. careful. You can't just be throwing around the we willy-nilly yeah, on a, yeah, a three-player yeah. team. I, it's true. Oh, I probably guy, shouldn't have right? done that. I that's, <laughs> yeah, no. that's my fault. I got a pocket full of fish. There you I go. got a sunshine. pocket full of sunshine. Nice. Ooh. Hey. <laughs> oh, on the 28th, I'm going to go check the card and see what's up. Okay, cool. See if you get good cart luck, too. Yeah. We did also get a large egg from the traveling cart, too. So that saves That's us time mm -hmm. in the future for yeah. uh, animal product stuff. Mm -hmm. Lee, do you want to... I mean, we just threw a question to you, but since okay. you guys have been like going back and checking the cart... Um, do you want to explain, I guess, a little... I, I mentioned that the traveling cart sells some things, but, like, what sort of things are you looking for? Why, like, what's really important coming out of that cart? Yeah, so some of the biggest things we want from the cart is um, we want specifically two fish. One is the puffer fish that we already have, as it's in my inventory right now. Um, and the other one is the sand fish. Um, we want the puffer fish because it's really hard to catch. Um, so we like to try and avoid doing that because it's also only available on like sunshiny days in the summer. Um, and the other one is the sandfish. Um, and because the sandfish, you can only catch that in the desert. 
um, extra items that are extra, like, beneficial to us um, in the traveling cart would be any kind of animal product. So we already picked up a large milk. We already picked up a large egg. Um, we're going to need one more large egg that we'll get from a chicken um, in the future. Because we we need to get animals in this in this run. <laughs> you want to buy the cave carrot now? Lee, I like how you're just standing there watching me harvest. <laughs> cave carrot, yes. What cave do you want me to yes. do? Sorry. Cave carrot, yes. No, cave I just carrot, love yes. that you're... Oh, uh, yes, I yes, mean... cave carrot. Cave carrot. Um, and we also picked up a rabbit's foot. So the rabbit's foot from the traveling cart is usually like a run, like killer because um, it, the rabbit's foot drop rate um, from a rabbit is fairly low. So um, the fact that we got that was really helpful that we don't have to like sit around and wait for the rabbit to like drop its foot. Yeah, towards um, the end of the run, there's a lot of downtime with yes. praying for rabbits and animals to cooperate the only other things that we like really am looking for from the cart right now is um some crab pot bundle items so things like either a lobster or a crawfish or a shrimpy shrimp a mm -hmm. shrimp a snail um any of those would be really beneficial for us right now and like why though i guess why is it important to get those things can't we just get a crab pot um nope. no because those are locked behind like the uh, fishing three. the fishing level so uh, in this run the only person that may get up to le fishing level three would probably be myself who's done the majority of the fishing so far um talk but, to your fisher woman um the, the, the crab pot woman. items we we won't have access to them and the only other way for us to get crab pots before getting uh, fishing level three is by uh, completing the crab pot bundle itself. Um, and we have not done that. Slash can't do that. We're turning stuff in today, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm already. I'm turning that. in the um, fire, uh, the boiler room stuff. I decided to just take it all because okay. I already had the uh, the bars. Okay. I'm just going to. And not in. just the wrap bars. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, okay. Nice. Right now. <laughs> Boots and cats and boots and cats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing all the animal products and stuff. Okay. Awesome. All the fish are already in max. as well. Sweet. Cool. What's your guys' favorite quick. part of the run? Um, it's a good Not question. fall I fish. Think, <laughs> I think uh, I grabbing that, that fire quartz in the mail. I don't know. It's something about the fire quartz gets me excited. I think... Uh, yeah, because you don't have to go to 80 my... for it anymore. Yeah, and all my <laughs> boiler room past has got me. Oh, Whenever true. I see a fire quartz, my heart ramps up, and I say, hello, fire quartz, finally, we meet again. One day, dude. Yeah. One day. Um, Terp, do you want to... I, I mentioned to chat about how difficult it is to get a fire quartz, um, but, yeah. like, I guess, do you want to explain the strategy for the boiler room? Oh man! All right, let me tell you. <laughs> um, so We're it all started we <laughs> back in the day when we used to go all the way to floor eighty or the fire courts. And the reason we went to floor eighty is because that is um, that is when fire courts can start appearing in the mines. However, oh, I'm gonna buy this really quick. Oh no, I bought a corn. It's fine. Dude, you silly. Um, th I'm, an, I'm just throwing over here. Um, and anyway, so, uh, but instead of going all the way to floor 80, uh, we figured out, you know what, you can, how else you can get fire quartz? From an Omni Geode. Mm -hmm. However, <laughs> you have to be very, very lucky to get a fire quartz from an Omni Geode first try. So... How how lucky do you have to be? What are the, what are the chances? What are this? Do do, do y'all know the chances? What are the odds? Is it four two or three percent? Oh no, <laughs> that's worse than I was expecting. Oh so yeah, what it's you do fun. is you do a twenty minute mines run, and after twenty to thirty minutes, you um for the boiler room <laughs> bundle, you go all the way to Clint's and open your Omni, and if you don't get that fire quartz, the run is dead. Oof. Oof. It's fun though, because it's like just a good game of chance true 
Are we sleeping? It is. Oh, you're playing fun. Do you need help? No one ever. Uh, I'm already Mm -hmm. done. As a Celeste speedrunner, I am terrified of RNG, so that was just a horror story you read off to me. (laughs) I'm sorry. (laughs) So in this run, (laughs) for the community center, since it's not just Baylor Room, instead what we can do is we can gift the wizard, like we were mentioning earlier, and we'll gift him a purple mushroom on his birthday. And then, um, and then he has the potential to send us a fire quartz in the mail. So we don't have to do any of that silliness. Thank um, goodness. Thank goodness. Yeah. Also, but, that w- but if we did that for the boiler room bundle itself, it would be slower than just getting it from an Omni. <laughs> so. True. Yeah. We're currently uh, going to fast forward to the next rain day for fishing. That's what we're doing, in case you guys are curious. Yeah. What's really great, though, is actually we do in this chat right now is that... Um, Terp was one of the first people to get the Omnigeode roll for the boiler room. Um, and then I believe it was Joe set his title on Twitch as like <laughs> running boiler room until I take Terp's world record. Um, and then he did, which then prompted Haboo. No, he didn't. I never did. No, no. he, d- he, did oh, he did not. never did. Okay. False yeah. information. I'm sorry. It but was there a was, lie. Unfo- there oh, was a Let's streak go. of people saying, you know, doing this until yeah. I take this world record. Um, <laughs> that there was and it was it was oh Joe got close I think he got like he was like a minute or a few minutes off I was out. like two minutes off yeah it was yeah. you're just goaded dude I can't keep up well not necessarily goaded because you know who did steal my world record who Habu oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. by like the boy he, he stole it by like yeah. 30 seconds I'm pretty sure oh yeah, so there's a lot of tension, you know. We wanna, we wanna be mm-hmm. there collectively. I got the first sub thirty in game time though, so that's all that's I can true. ask for. That's true. That's that's you game. know what? Heck yeah! You'll never. No one can take that from you. Okay. No mm-hmm. one can take my sub thirty. <laughs> Maybe one day I will. Well, good luck <laughs> grinding it out. It's painful. <laughs> all right. Well, you guys are on fish. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna let you focus a little bit. Um, yeah. Have fun. So thank have, have you know some what? No fun. You. Thanks. You know what? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was fun. It's yeah. all, it's always fun checking in with them. <laughs> I I do love stopping in. <laughs> but it's yeah, great. both of our teams right now are on the fall fish day, mm-hmm. um, which is um, I believe the split for. Um, Haboo's runs is just called Run Killer, I believe. Ooh, is um, fishing that uh, volatile in terms of what we're looking for here? It, it really is. Um, so we'll notice, especially too, that um, like right now, I believe if I was reading chat correctly, um, how many 50 50s chat did um, Habu <laughs> lose for Walleye and Shad? I'd love to know if someone in chat could I let would me also know. love to know this. Uh, so, as Lee said earlier, there are um, patterns that each of the fish exhibit. Uh, for some reason, the Walleye and the Shad have exactly the same pattern. Oh, that's rough. Uh, and they have an overlapping catch period of a couple of hours. And so um, there's really no way to mm. know which one you're going to like catch. Um, you know you're going to catch one of those two, but it's like you just got to try your best and hope for the best. Yeah. And so right now um, we can actually see Habu is um, canceling real quick out of those fishing menus. Um, that's because he's looking for an eel. Um, and an eel has actually, interestingly, the same pattern as a tuna, but luckily you can't catch a tuna when it's raining in the fall. Um, Mm, and so the pattern he's looking for is going to shoot up to the top of the bar really, really quickly. Um, and he'll tend to probably just cancel out of any fish that doesn't follow that pattern. Um, but yeah, this is the Runs Demise chat clarified um, for me is the name of the split. Um, because if you aren't done fishing, usually by like, I would say about 6 p.m., which is where Habu is right now, um, most runners, if you want that really, really hard, like high time or like really, really low time, um, you just 
give up at that you kinda point. Have, you have to do a reset at that point. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And um, I guess that kind of leads us into a neat thing that we haven't talked about, but I have seen people mentioning it in chat, is that in single player, the in-game time pauses when um, you're fishing. However, in multiplayer, it doesn't. Unless oh, you do wow. slash pause, the game will not pause. And so the multiplayer team is able to save more time on fishing because they don't they're not wasting time every single time they catch another fish to like get that extra level um, to make catching fish easier. That's really interesting. That's a, that's a quirk I wouldn't have really thought about how it impacts that, yeah. but yeah. Um, and so our multiplayer team will get through this day a lot quicker, mostly just because um, time doesn't pause for them at all. Um, but Are there um, certain we, situations where the, it, like other than fishing, where that would happen and then they, they, it's actually a bad thing that the time doesn't pause for them? Or is it always a good thing that the timer keeps going? Um, hmm. You know, there, I'm just curious if it's like, wait, we need to like run across town and pausing time would have let us do that or something. Yeah, I guess like one of the things that you do suffer from is that like in single player, you can kind of pause, like, pause the time when you're menuing and things like that. So I have had times where I, in like multiplayer, am organizing my inventory or something like that. The game doesn't pause because we're in multiplayer, and then I miss that window to go to the shop because yeah. I, like time was progressing. Um, so I think mostly like things like that where um, you know time ends up moving. Oh, someone in chat, good point. The mines and skull caverns as well. Mm, so mm. Um, in the mines, what you can do as a single player is you can pause buffer. Um, when you're going down ladders, technically before you can see, the in-game clock is still progressing. Yes. And so um, in multiplayer, you can't really do anything about that. But in single player, right as you go down the ladder, you can pause your game. Uh, so you can actually extend the amount of time available to you um, in the mines that way, which isn't as useful in, I would say, um, you know, this speed run, but going through Skull Cavern speed runs or things like that, where it's very important that you have like every minute available to you, you don't get that like extra time throughout the day because you don't get that pause while you're going through. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. There's, there's, there's ups and downs to it, for sure, um, compared to the single player. That's really cool. Yeah. Do we want to oh, go uh, check in with Habu? What's up? Yeah. See what Habu's up to? Yeah, he is on Fall 15, so this should be a good day to chatter with him. Cool, I'll let you uh, say hi to him when we get him there. Yeah. What is up? Habu, I'm seeing some quality menuing going on here. Uh, yeah, uh, 48. That's the number that I'm trying to remember. All right. <laughs> you guys keep joining when <laughs> I have to do math in my head and buy a specific <laughs> amount of stuff. I'm so sorry. It's sabotage. Listen, I got bribed by the three-player team, and uh -huh. I absolutely know what's going on in this game. I'm a Stardew Valley speedrunner, so I'm coming in at the most difficult times for you. I hope you appreciate it. Uh, it's it's wonderful. <laughs> uh, 70 or 85. Yeah. Uh, 60. Oh, I have so much coal. It's ridiculous. How did you get so much coal? Uh... It's 85, yeah. Uh, I don't really know. It just... Oh, I need to buy 25 copper. There we go. That's how you do that. Uh, how did I get so much coal? Uh, it's called Three Days of the Mines in Early Club, and I think I got every single coal cart. <laughs> Amazing. And the amount of dust sprites I killed was... Uh, a very fun time. Did you hit the one on 52 as well, or...? Yes. Ah, oh, very nice. Uh, I killed the oh. ghost on that floor. Yeah. What do I need? <laughs> Math 48 hard, was right. the number you needed earlier, by the way. Yeah, I already I already bought that. <laughs> Ooh. I do this menu in a weird format. I do the 
I build the coop and then I buy the resources just because then I can't over buy wood. Honestly, I do the same thing, so I'm glad that you do that because I always feel like real dumb when I'm doing it because people are like, you're supposed to buy all the resources first. And I'm like, but I am. I don't want to do short. math. I'm Good 50 news. Wood short. That's only three trees um, with leaving the stumps. I'm getting the stumps because <laughs> I'm like that. Yeah, the other sucky part is, is I didn't get a purple mushroom. Oh. So, well, we're now, hoping Hex? I get it by the end, or... We're hoping I get it at the end of fall, or we are going to the mines to kill another ghost. <laughs> yeah, so... so um, like, I mean, how are you getting these purple mushrooms? Because I thought they were only available in the mines. Uh, this is specifically why we do the forest farm. So the forest farm can, oh, use surprise, surprise, have forge on the farm that you can just find. And the, in fall, these are purple mushrooms. And that is very potent because if we didn't do... I'm going to have to wait. Uh, if we didn't do the forest farm to get the purple mushrooms, then we would be forced to go the mushroom cave for the cave option and the mushroom cave is bad because we have to constantly check it and it's actually not very high odds for uh the purple mushroom in the first place where whereas in the bat cave allows us to just stockpile a bunch of fruit and basically allows us to not have to buy any uh fruit trees besides apples because apples appear at an extremely reduced rate in the bat cave I think it's actually a third wow. prize. You need three apples compared to <laughs> just needing one of everything else. See, I kind of plan for it. Makes sense. Makes sense. There's so much math that goes into this. There's so much math. It, I mean, it's simple math in terms of it's mostly like adding, subtracting, and multiplication. But you're also doing but, a speed run at the same time where you have to remember yeah, everything. I mean, that, that's, so. the, that's the fun part about it is doing it fast. <laughs> yeah, it's impressive. I'm just always impressed, Habu, by the fact that, like, I mean, I, I mean, I do math for a living, and I have my calculator open on the side when I'm doing things, and you, like, walk into menus, like, yeah, I need 48 of this thing, and it's, like, it baffles me every time. Trust me, if we could be, like, the Minecraft community and just have, like, a calculator <laughs> open the entire time to do our math, then I would love that, but... <laughs> You all are better than them. You don't need it. It's all good. <laughs> I don't know, because there's some people in that community who can actually, like, do the trig in their head. Yeah, that, very that's quickly, too much and for it's me. it's scary. Listen. It's scary. I used to be a math oh, I teacher. I still can't do that. Plus, <laughs> there's a purple mushroom. Oh, Nice. So for those who are wondering what the purple mushroom is for, it is for a gift for the wizard. We are going to befriend the wizard in this route to get a fire quartz, which makes it so I don't have to go to floor 80 in the mines and only 51. Saving, uh, you know, 30 floors is very nice. Especially with how mines, my mines want, or went this run. <laughs> also two extra red mushrooms is good because I need one for the actual bundle, for the dye bundle, and then I can use one for the exotic bundle later on. Yeah, because you mentioned earlier some of the bundles do have, like, options to choose from. So, um, I mean, you just mentioned you can use that red one for the exotic bundle. Um, mm -hmm. What other things would you have to get for that um, exotic bundle? Uh, the morel, which I think I had to sell earlier, and then, like, extra cave carrots if you can keep them, which I was able to. Uh, I have everything, right? Yep, okay, we're hoping. Yeah. You love season locked items, because if you sleep into the next season and you forgot an item, <laughs> we do go back, but sometimes it's too late. Yeah, what what happens? What if you completely just miss something for the season? You, you're not gonna like sleep three seasons, right? Do you have to like you got some? Uh, you surely you have some backup strats though. For most items, uh -oh. not all of them. <laughs> oh no! Can you get into a situation where it's just it's over? 
Oh yeah, I kill runs all the time to that. <laughs> the best, the best, uh, the best time is when you oversleep and you forget to harvest and go into winter. That's always fun, killing your entire crop selection that you just planted. <laughs> Ten thousand I... gold worth of pumpkins down the drain. Oh, that's that hurts me. And like, I built six staircases once. <laughs> Oh, uh, love misclicks <laughs> when you're holding out shift for like no reason and you build five at a time. Uh, it's, uh, it's always fun. There's always so many things that could go wrong, but that's why we try to play it a little safe. Thankfully, like, we can just sleep an extra season. And thankfully, I'm in single player, so it doesn't take me an extra 15 minutes. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's uh, it can be a little bit of pain sometimes. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, that's what makes marathon runs of Stardew to me so impressive because there is a lot that can go wrong, but you all are very cognizant of it and making sure everything's good. Yeah, I'll just like sit in front of the bed for like a second. It's like, did I remember everything? Normally, like in a normal speed run on stream, I just would not think. So we're selling pickles here because in year two, wood and stone, wood, stone, and coal prices all go up. So we want to buy all the wood and stone we can in year one before those prices go up. So we're just selling all our pickle pumpkins. Yes, pickle pumpkins. It's probably just as disgusting as it's. Yeah, I don't. I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know how I feel about that one. <laughs> From what I've been told, they're sweet. Don't know how, but they are. Interesting. One day I'll uh, one day I'll try one just because of how <laughs> many I've made in this game. True. I've Jess made an ungodly amount of pickle pumpkins in my playtime <laughs> of this game. Incredible. Jesse, you think it's time to, to, to hop on in with our, our three player team, see how they're doing? I think so. Alright, let's go uh let's go say hi to them and check on in. Not Bye. bad. Hello, how's it going in here, my favorite oh, trio? God. It is going really well. Yeah? Yeah. Catch us are, up. Yeah. We just did so much, it's really hard to explain. But <laughs> we, <laughs> we have our coop going. We have our pumpkins growing. Ooh, We're, that rhymed even. Yeah, poet don't even know it. There you go. Oh my gosh, she did it again. <laughs> So now we're just going to sleep and jar until the 28th of fall, collect all the pumpkins, continue jarring for money, and then we go straight to the wizard to give him a nice little mushroom. Actually, on the 28th, we got to check left side. Yeah. yeah. Aside from that, everything stands true. Because we would yeah. like to get the fire So quartz. far, so good. Yeah. We didn't yell at each other that much while you guys were doing stuff. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. I'm glad to hear that you all are, you know, mending your friendship as this run goes on. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or maybe it's just, it's up and down waves, right? It is. When... <laughs> it is. It, all it takes is one smiled in, uh, smile, one small inconvenience. <laughs> one it's smile. You look at me the wrong, you look at me the right yeah. way and we're done. <laughs> you yeah. smile, buddy, we're over. <laughs> so what are the three of you, your, what, what's, what's all of your game plans of what we need to be doing next? We're gonna be doing uh, so, a lot of sleeping. Yeah, yes. that's that's Tons. the main thing. It's a lot of banter right now. <laughs> True. Usually, um, but like Joe said, on the twenty eighth, I'll be going out to grab all the pump keys, um, and then Lee or Joe or both will be going to the left side to grab the purple mushrooms. Hopefully, we got some more. Ideally, um, and then we'll just the be foraging. sleeping. We'll be sleeping even more um, all the way into winter seventeenth um, to gift the wizard. Mm -hmm. For that fire quartz. Yep. So, or good. in his case, he always gives us tears or, uh, yeah. weirdly enough, he gives back the gift that we gave him sometimes, the purple yeah, mushroom. So he gives us purple mushrooms. <laughs> I don't know why, but he just, he likes to return it. Yeah. He's cool he's like that. serial free gifter. Mm -hmm. That's true. That is very true. Yeah, I love that sleeping is just a fundamental part of Stardew speedruns. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, I need that to be a part of my life. You know, I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to save <laughs> yes, time exactly. by sleeping. I'm going to take care of myself by sleeping. I'm very bad at doing that. But if I right. convince myself it's a speedrunning trick, maybe I'll do it. Ooh, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the, like the disadvantage Ingoli. to multiplayer is that... Um, uh, is that it? The load times are like that can yeah. cost us minutes of oh, I've... of time loss from the fact that yeah. we we all have to sleep. <laughs> so. Yeah, the 
multiplayer does its best, right? I don't know if the game was intended to be ran as much as um, we do it multiplayer wise, but. Yeah. Do we want a coconut for 600? Sure. Yeah, we have a lot of extra money. Okay. Um, there's a bunch of tree saplings, but they're not any of the ones we need, so okay. it doesn't matter. Bad news, left side. I don't see any purples. All right, so I'll be the one to gift the purple mushroom then because I can reset faster. Yeah, yeah it's fine. I have purple mushrooms have just been a theme of this part of the run right now. <laughs> yeah, it's weird because normally they're pretty abundant, but they we, just we like were to talking be to Habu about it too. It's just it's so funky. Uh -oh. yeah. That tree might some. actually be on. Um, here's a fun fact from the crafts room, because um, that's what I run. Um, the trees of, like, so some of the trees can randomly become mushroom trees. Um, mm -hmm. and whether or not their stump gives you a purple mushroom is based on their, um, their Y position across the farm. So you can actually look at a tree and be able to predict, um, whether or not, like, what mushroom the stump will give you. Um, whether it will be all reds or if it will be, um, a purple mushroom. Yep. Well, there you go. That's my fun fact for you guys. It's what I haven't done for seated crafts yet, but I've been procrastinating. You have so many <laughs> fun facts about this game. What, I, yeah. I love it. So many. Yes, I didn't know that, so I'm writing it yeah. down in my notes. Yeah, it makes sense. I didn't know, but when the runners <laughs> don't know something, it's like, wait, wait. I learn a lot of stuff every time I run this. Every time. <laughs> We got chat pointing out that it's just purple mushrooms don't like GDQ, and I think that's true. Cause, true! Um, a GDQ, they forsake Blackheart. They're now giving y'all a run for your money. Gabby got so owned by the yeah. mushrooms. You're so right. <laughs> oh they're gosh. shy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're just really shy. Mm -hmm. They just don't like GDQ. That's what it is. <laughs> that's we did up. get one, though. That's good. Yeah. Is it in the middle chest? It's in my hands. <gasps> what? <laughs> Why is it a bad thing? <laughs> oh my gosh! Contamination. I'll give you a red mushroom too. I don't. I don't want a red mushroom. I was just honestly, I, I had it. I have a second red mushroom too. Lee, that's my foraging XP. How dare oh, you? In the bottom, in the corner. So. <laughs> So actually a fun thing, since I know you guys are just sleeping for a bit and we get to experience that very, very fun, you know, multiplayer um, yeah. sleep simulator. Um, you know, Lee, you run marriage and things. Um, I do. And red mushrooms, actually, like they're, they're not, I mean, they're useful here for bundles. We heard from Habu, we can put them into two different bundles, but they're useful, like very nichely in marriage runs, aren't they? <laughs> They are. So it, both the mushroom and typically sometimes we also use holly if you make it all the way to winter. Um, the red mushroom has an interesting effect on a person. Um, so instead of it giving like you Mario. energy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> instead of it, uh, well, unlike Mario, because it's, yeah, it's kind of reverse unfortunately, Mario. yeah, it's reverse true. in this situation. Um, so unlike Mario, where Mario would get like a one up, I guess, if you eat the red mushroom. Uh, I'm sorry to break it to you. It's a one up for the green mushroom, but go yeah, on. Yeah. I didn't want to point it out. Thank I you. Know, hey. You know, I don't play that. Are you not a Mario much. fan? I, what are your I thoughts just, on green Mario? No, his name is Luigi. Stop disrespecting him like that. I like him. I just like calling him Green Mario. No, well, it's a There crack. you go. Anyway. Well, okay. In the red mushrooms in Stardew Valley, they subtract like a significant amount of energy if you eat them. So like a regular red mushroom, it loses uh, 50 energy. So we use that to kind of pass out really quickly. Sorry, wrong one. I put it in the middle chest. Thank you. Oh. And I grabbed it. Um, so when we're trying to pass out and make it back to our houses fast in marriage runs, we use red mushrooms if they're available to us on our farm um, to help us to pass out quickly. Yeah, we yes. talked about pe the passing out strats earlier of like there are penalties to it, but it is very fast. So it's yes. just all about when in the route we need to be doing that. Yeah, usually you pass out after you spend your money because it will take 10% of your total earnings with a cap of a thousand. So it's like more strategic when you pass out. Usually, mm -hmm. sometimes you can justify yeah. not doing it though. I'm upgrading today, right? Can I have my bars? Yeah, make sure there's room have, for the Can bar. I have my bars? 
Oh, Herb? um, yeah, I put him in the middle chest, buddy. I didn't see him. Well, you clicked on the wrong chest. Look well, on. you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Jess, do we want to do we want to leave our friends be for a little bit and uh, yeah. go go hang out together, chat about some other starter stuff? Yeah. All Good right. Good luck, you guys. Have a happy um, birthday with the wizard. Thanks. Oh, thank you. I will. Thank you. All right. This seems like they're everyone's on good pace. There's not been anything like super getting in the way of any of uh, any of their stuff right now. Like a few snags, but everyone seems pretty content with their route. Yeah, and right now, like for chat, you're like, well, you know, Habu's half a season ahead right now. Um, but again, we have some really good saves right now where um, they're not going to have to. The multiplayer team doesn't have to buy as much, and they also get to save some time time with fishing um, that Habu was not able to do because he is unfortunately just one person. Um, if we had multiple Habus, no one would be able to get more multiplayer records, so we're very lucky we haven't figured out cloning <laughs> technology yet. That's good. That's good for everyone else involved. Uh, but yeah, what's really fun about... Um, the mushroom tech um, as well that Lee was mentioning for passing out quickly is that um, if you use a mushroom to pass out, you don't get a debuff for um, like hitting the zero energy mark. So as um, Habu mentioned, if you level up, you'll wake up with full energy. But if you otherwise like hit the zero energy mark, um, you wake up the next day with only half your energy bar. Oh, um, okay. So by eating something like holly or the red mushroom at a low enough um, energy level, you bypass the zero check and you go straight into the pass out. Um, That's so really you, interesting uh, tech. That's really cool. Yeah. So you, so you miss the um, exhaust debuff, which is very important in marriage runs because you need something like... You need 750 wood minimum for a marriage run. And so that's a lot of tree chopping, so you want that yeah. full energy bar. Um, Absolutely, that makes a ton of sense. Yeah. And another fun thing that I found out that doesn't save up too much time, but I want to use it, is apparently you can animation cancel out of the pass out animation when you have holly or you have um, mm. red mushroom. So you can actually pass out even quicker with those um, if you can get an animation cancel right in time on that. Awesome. That's there, there's There's so many little things that just all add up. And these are like incredibly top level players that are just doing it automatically but when you break it down it's like oh my gosh there's so much that goes into this yeah there's like i wasn't expecting as much math to occur like when i first started running this <laughs> um i feel like something bad has happened in habs's run i saw i see habs <laughs> being a little upsetty i don't should we go check in we, I, I, maybe. <laughs> should we? I don't know if that'd be helpful or hurtful at this point. Seems a little annoyed. Let's let's go say uh, hi. Yeah, let's go check on him. Hey, Habu. Seeing some some facial expressions going on. Is everything okay over here? What's what's happening? Talk to us. <laughs> okay. I saw you like sleep through a day and I um, forgot about the slight gap and like the pumpkins like cauliflower and so I was like did he miss a harvest day is he okay believe so. <laughs> it didn't take me like weeks of practice to be able to memorize a seed to do that, but it seems like uh Habu, it's uh, it's uh you've actually been muted a little bit, so I want to wait and make sure that the audience can hear you so we can ask you again uh what happened. But uh for now, uh yes, me and Jess can we we can, we'll catch up the audience. Uh, everything's fine. 
Everything's fine. Don't worry. Panic. <laughs> oh, now now we can hear. All right, we're good. Hi, Habu. You want to just quickly TLDR that what what was happening and why you were being a uh, demonstrative? Uh, I had nothing better to do, so I was just uh doing the exact same thing my farmer is doing, which is just sleeping an entire season away, which is a mood, but <laughs> that is a mood. That is a mood. Yeah. And Habu, you did mention as well, just because, I mean, I, I loved the video. I loved watching you do it live. Um, tell us about how you beat the crafts room completely blindfolded. Well, I always see so many other runners play their games once they get to, like, a certain degree of mastery. It's like, oh, let's try to do a blindfolded attempt. And, like, most of, like some of them do it, like, completely blindfolded, like, no chat help. But most just do it with, like, chat telling them where to go. So I really wanted to do it without chat. So I spent like an entire week learning the seated crafts room speed run just to be able to do it blindfolded. And yeah, some of the routing is very scuffed in terms of the pathing that you have to take. I, yeah, I don't really know what else to say about it. It was just a lot of work. That was perfect. That was it. <laughs> That was perfect. And uh, we're all saying it in the chat, but we have a flashing warning coming up for the 28th. Uh, just want to let everyone know. We also put that in the chat. Um, they um, are all done with it. All right, I cool. Did, I did send one earlier as well. Oh, no, Lee's yeah, checking again. They're, they're fast. <laughs> it's mainly to deal yeah. with the mail. Yeah, it makes I'm sense. Good on, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine in spring. Don't click the wrong one. <laughs> I've killed a run by clicking the wrong one before. It it's seems very time. easy to just miss menu or misclick and then completely bork everything you're doing. Yeah. Like, holy cow. Yeah. And so um, both the teams um, will notice, at least um, Habu did it, uh, or I guess Habu will do it later. Um, but, or I guess no, Habu, did you do yours? I mean, you're a bit now um, into summer, but do Early you do mail? your... Yeah, do you do your mail check on um, Winter 28? I do not anymore. Okay. <laughs> so it's technically a high roll to go for it. So, like, you can get early minecarts if you uh, get the fire quartz first, but I did timing recently, and it's like, it's a one in four chance, I believe, and if you fail it three times, you're losing time. Like, you'll lose more time than my current save if you fail it three times. So, one in four, failing it three times, eh. I'm just, on on good runs, I won't do it. On bad runs, I will. Uh, sure, that's it. Being, you're, take, you're gonna decide to here. take the risk. Yeah, Yeah, I I'm think... just being safe here. I'd rather not lose, like, 40 seconds to just having to reset. True. The day over and over again. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, it's the fishing day. We love tuna. We do love tuna. I oh, I wish you luck on your tuna adventures. Yeah, tuna's always fun. Um, this fish has killed way too many runs. <laughs> yes. Well, yeah. Thanks for thanks for catching us up, Jess. You want to pop out for a second? Just uh, talk about the general state of the run. Yeah, let's All do right. that. Good luck, Kaboo. Kaboo. Good mm -hmm. luck. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so like I'm looking at the clock, and we're about you know 140 into our two was it 250 estimate. So yeah, how is it looking in terms of pace between the three player team and the and and Habu? What are you thinking? Um, we're doing a a pretty good job. So right now we are in summer year two. Um, and as we uh, mentioned early on, this run does end um, halfway through fall year two. Um, so we are very, very um, close date-wise, at least, to finishing the run. Awesome. Um, at least on Habu's end, but again, he's got um, a lot um, more things he still has to do because he wasn't able to front load. Um, those things. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but the um, the tuna, the the dreaded tuna that we're going for mm -hmm. right now, um, is a fish that is only available in, I believe, sunny weather, summer. And if I'm wrong, chat will correct me. <laughs> um, but 
it has, I believe it leaves at 2 p.m. And so if you don't catch it very quickly, um, then you have to go out and go get it again. And you have, like, you just have to keep going if you're not able to get it. Mm -hmm. um, but as we saw, he had to retill his entire fields. He had to do all that. And it looks like he just hooked the tuna. All right. Um, which nice. Was, as we saw, just like the eel that shot all the way up to the top. So we knew that was an eel. Yeah, I can see he's um, happy. Yeah. Yeah, he was very happy about this. Yeah, so he just saved a lot of time there. Right now, Very what he's nice. going to do is he's going to sell the extra fish. He's going to buy a trout soup, some bait, and a better fishing rod. And he just deletes his old fishing rod. Um, there's a lot of deleting things, which took me a very long time when I started speed running, where it's like, well, no, I could sell this and I can get money. Um, but you'll see, um, like, Habu especially, a lot of the time will very, very quickly just delete valuable things, arguably valuable things out of the inventory because he knows he doesn't need it for the mm -hmm. run. Makes sense. It makes sense. Uh, but that trout soup that he bought um, allows you to um, artificially increase your fishing level, which he needs because he has to catch a sturgeon. And he is still, he might be fishing level one at this point. Yeah, because he lost a lot of 50-50s earlier. So he should be fishing level one. Um, but the sturgeon is one of the hardest early game fish to catch. It's mm -hmm. on the same level as a tiger trout. Um, and in the route, the identifying mark for the tiger trout is fear for your life. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, yeah, I can tell that he's definitely happy to have gotten that out of the way. That's great. Very cool. I want to kind of segue into something else. So this has been a takeover from the Stardew Valley collab, which I know that you and Lee host together. Is that correct? Yeah, so... You want to just talk about that? And, like, you all have been doing events, and that's why I wanted to invite you all on here. What, what is that? And where can people find what you're up to? Yeah, so the Stardew Valley Collaborative started out um, way back when um, I first joined the community. Um, another um, Stardew Valley speedrunner, actually, she's in the chat right now, and also, um, I will say, like, Le Chat. Um, if you want to see multiplayer runs without lag, her and her husband run them and have pretty much almost every single multiplayer nice. world record because they get a play on LAN. Um, but I, uh, she jokingly mentioned, hey, I'd love to have a Kirby tournament. Like, we should all play Kirby. Um, I took that as, okay, let's do this. And so I planned a very small event. Mm -hmm. um, and everyone liked it so much that we were like, okay, well, what do, like, we should do something else. Um, so we planned a 40-hour marathon that ended up being a 60-hour marathon, um, wow. getting perfection in the game, which is the longest category with a world record of 23 hours, um, obviously held by Habu. Um, <laughs> Holy cow. Yeah, that's a long run. It was, um, but we were able to get together 21 um, Stardew Valley streamers and we just took a file and we just passed it along. And then when we didn't finish it quite, um, Joe kept playing and then people, si and then Habu took it over again. Um, he's actually currently doing a challenge run that's a result of the fact that he, he said he could finish perfection by 7 a.m. Um, he did not. Um, <laughs> and so he is now currently getting one of every item in the game as a speed run. <laughs> wow. Um, apparently we are at 2137, um, 21 hours and 37 minutes for this um, perfection speed run. Holy cow, that's amazing. Um, but yeah, so we had so much fun with that that um, Lee and I are just like, well, why don't we just keep organizing events? Um, so we made the collaborative. Um, we got some people together. Um, we had Women's History Month event where we got a bunch of people actually from um, the Frame Fatale server, from Lady Arcaders, and a bunch of like mm -hmm. really cool women speedrunners. Um, 
and we raised over three thousand dollars for charity for that event that event was so much fun um, to watch ton of my friends ton of people yeah from the ff community that yeah. are great as both teachers and players that was that was such a fun event yeah and um you know that went off well so we had the mines tournament um just real recently which was um very fun and then um, we helped organize there's a junimo kart tournament this last thursday um, that um, was able to be started because of the collaborative but um yeah we've we've got a bingo thing coming up later this month um if you want to you know be a part of that chat you can apply um like audition you might be able to come be on the bingo thing we have another really cool event coming up in july i think we have something planned for august all right um but we do so many i guess like it's it's just a lot of fun and we've been able to yeah. kind of foster this like community because like there is a lot of crossover i mean we can we can see chat popping off right now um, there's so many people from the community here yeah. it's so awesome to see it's it's wild they show up every single yes. time and it's like just you know they like we put on events and they always show up so it's just like okay well we'll just we'll keep putting on events for you guys because you want events um we'll we'll do it um, yeah, that's great. That's why yeah, the big reason why I wanted to does work. I, I uh, put the I put exclamation marks on truly everything, uh, <laughs> yeah. and that is a problem for links. So, <laughs> it, mine actually worked fine with the exclamation point. Oh well, that's good. Jess does not sleep. Wickedy, please. We don't mention that I didn't sleep during the perfection <laughs> marathon. I. Listen. We don't talk about I, it. We don't talk I, about I, it. Yeah, I just came back from SGDQ. It. I definitely slept a great and healthy amount during that week. Haha. -ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, you all are doing such great work. I mean, I am a part of the Celeste community events, and we run a lot of different events like that. So it's always like really fun to see different communities band together and just showcase what they've been doing. And then we get to pull it here on Hotfix and show it to an even larger audience. So yeah, thank, thank you to everyone who's here from the community and, and from outside the community who's now learning about this. Yeah. And, and thank you, like, so much for asking us. Like, I'm a, like, yeah. I just got a message from Lee. She was like, I'm, like, currently out of town. So all it was was just, like, seven exclamation points. Aww. And I was like, so I just sent back seven question marks because the, like, cause <laughs> the, she was, like, out of service. So the, the, the like, her next message didn't come through. <laughs> So just no um, and, context, a bunch yeah. of exclamation marks. That's incredible. And so, um, like, yeah, we're we're super excited to be here. And like, I mean, we we've been just we want to do more events. And like, I mean, this all started because we all played Kirby together. Yeah. Um, and we were just like, people who play Stardew are just, I mean, like. Like, I mean, I'm biased as someone who plays Stardew and a lot of my friends do, but like, I just, this community is just so nice and yes. like, yes. it is a joy to interact with like every like single person. It is. I mean, that's a big reason why I wanted to reach out to you all. I've had Stardew on my shows before, obviously had Stardew as part of FF events before and like, I am objective and unbiased because I have never played Stardew for more than 15 minutes, but the speedruns and the speedrunners are some of the, like, kindest people in the community. I completely agree with that. I've also been told we're, like, one of the only, um, like, groups of speedrunners that, like, unironically, like, we, we refer to each other as, like, gamers, but, like, in, like, a... Gamer like, affectionate. Guess, yeah, it's just like, yeah, gamer affectionate. <laughs> exactly. Um, and apparently that took a lot of, um, it's taken a couple of people by surprise, which I just really um, enjoy because they were like, wait, this is, you guys, like, you guys use this, like, so nicely. And it's like, yeah, we're here to game. We're here to have we're fun. We're here to game. We're here to hang out. Like, I, co I completely agree. Let's, let's get some just hearts in the chat for the Stardew community. I think it's about time for our second break, actually. If you're thinking there's a, maybe a good time in a little bit, we can get everyone together. Yeah. Um, so Habu right now is on 
summer 13 so that day um when he wraps up there will be good um the um currently i guess a bit of a flash warning not too much is that um the three player team right now is doing a um you'll you'll see they've like you actually mentioned before the good news is we don't quit out of the game so that stuff will stay on the ground um but we actually um do quit out of the game um, mm. for these mail resets. Um, so you'll it. see um, Terp, um, as the host, is able to reconnect fairly quickly. Um, and you'll notice she's also checking the mail from like different um, angles. Mm -hmm. um, it's not because the side of the mailbox matters at all, but it depends on like the, I believe, the Unix time of when you... Um, like interact with the mailbox and so by going on um another side of the mailbox then you're able to get something different all right um, interesting. It, it looks like they got that fire court so once habu finishes up the 13th and they finish up the 28th which should what else happens on the 28th for them i guess they, we can also make them pause just in the middle of the day as well yeah whenever's a good time for, okay. for folks really actually yeah we can actually just have them oops <laughs> um yeah we could just pop up and have them um sleep all right um so we'll go tell them real let's quick. do it and drag everyone together yeah Hey guys, do you want to pause real Hi, quick? Gamers. We're going to take another break and we'll ignore the fact that Terp just um, invalidated your guys' run. Um, what? <laughs> we were screaming for Terp to stop. If we would to be technical, okay. It was just, now it's just double, it's a double invalidate, so it goes back to being validated, so we're all yeah, good. True. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you're Perfect. so right, Corey. I'm so, so right. right. Thank you, thank yeah, you. yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, before before we go to our break, I want to check in with now that everyone's here. How how's the run going? How are you feeling about the time right now? Really good. We just got our fire quartz. I've got an, an unholy good fish this run. Yes. Can you throw oh. holes at every spot possible. Can you throw? Uh, no. Yeah. I uh, trust you. Me, need to make even it close. Bubbles. It took me two hours to get the eel, and I I messed up the first sturgeon. Oh. Oh, oh you already got the, I mean, yeah, we got the surgeon too for sure. <laughs> why, Definitely. <laughs> sure, why would you uh, can, you can, I, can I ask you a question? Be, so. What'd you say, Abu? You have the foot already. That is yeah. true. Oh, true. Yeah, that's both pretty, teams have had some good like good up. luck. Habu got the tuna very early. We were super impressed by that. Uh but you all got just finished some mail luck, right? Doing doing some mail stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I just cost us the run, times, but, but Mail is so much worse on multiplayer. It is really bad on multiplayer, yeah. I could see them, you all laughing and doing dealing with the mail thing uh, over there. So glad that's over for you all for now. Yeah. For now, <laughs> so, yeah. For now. Well, I don't guess we don't really need mail anymore. We're good. Sweet. Yeah. All right. Well, it sounds like things are good. Again. Let's head on to our uh, our second okay. break then. And when we come back, we can catch everyone up on what the next steps are as we're almost getting to the end. Anything else you want to say, uh, Jess, before we head to our, our break? Um, I'm, I'm just so excited to see like what like where we're gonna end up like when we come back. I'm like, Same. I'm excited for the break, but like, I just wanted them to keep going. I just need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Same, I'm super excited about that. All right, well, chat, don't go anywhere. You're gonna get to see the thrilling finale of this three player versus one player community center race when we get back. And of course, if you're interested in staying up to date on everything Hotfix, you can check out Gamestone Quick's Twitter. You can see what we've been doing. And we typically have Hotfix shows starting at 7 p.m. every weekday and 1 p.m. on the weekends. So st stay tuned, grab some water. We'll be back with Stardew real, real soon. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Stardew Valley Collab Takes Over GDQ Hotfix. We have been having such a fun three-player versus one-player community center race, and we're getting towards the end of our seasons here. And so I, I, I'm just so excited to see how this is going to conclude. Uh, I'm here with my co-host, The Valiant Sun. How's it going? It is going well. Uh, you know, I think, like... I, I mean, as much as like hot mics always are like unfortunate, sometimes I'm like, when we're during those breaks, I'm like, 
man, if only just a moment, we'd get the, <laughs> get those mics hot for a second. <laughs> yeah, we're just having such a blast chit-chatting here uh, behind the scenes. And I hope everyone is having fun listening to our, you know, as we pop in with the different teams throughout this. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to put it in the chat. But I think we will uh, get off to the races me and Jess will give everyone kind of a recap of what we're doing, and then we'll we'll uh, visit in with our friends. So, is everyone ready to go? Yep. Yep. Oh yep. yeah! All right, let's get farming. Oh, yeah. Three, two, one, go! Good luck, everyone. It's so awkward to just You're like go resume hope. and just sleep. <laughs> Sorry, I was just laughing at the. I, it's, I know. it's time for the tuna. <laughs> just <laughs> they're they're all such a hoot, you know. It's great. All right, so we have our, we have our team twenty something toe versus Habu here. How is the pace looking for both of our teams, and what's left to go? Yeah, so right now, um, what we can see is that um, the. Three player team is. Oh, what stage of upgrades are we at right now? I don't think the outside actually changes, so that was going to be, um, you know, really impressive if I was actually able to call that out. Um, but we're on the first of summer for the um, three player team, and we're on the 19th of summer for the um, single player team. Um, and what's really. Um, great about that is even though Habu is, um, you know, much further ahead, uh, we actually see um, by putting that keg down there from Joe, um, they were able to finish, they rolled very high for the Artisan bundle, um, so they're able to get that much quicker than nice. um, Habu will likely, actually he just... Looking at his inventory, he might also be done with the artisan bundle. Oh. They're getting some really high rolls right I now. I know, for sure. Uh. I mean, I gotta pull, we got to pull for the, the underdogs, the three-player team. Uh, and as we've been saying, if you're just joining us, you're like, wait, how is three-player not completely way faster? Uh, and it's because lag over online. So there's certain things that Habu is able to do a lot faster. There's certain things that the multiplayer team is able to do a lot faster. I'm pulling for the three-player team just because of the pure chaos of it all. <laughs> it it is such a a great time. It does mean that um, some of y'all um, in chat, you're like, well, how is all this like working? We've got three voice chats <laughs> um, just set up so that we can allow everybody to to chatter and do their things. Um, it would be, you know, we're saving tech. We love tech everywhere, um, but especially here on Hotfix, um, like. We we wanted to save tech a little bit a, a little bit of headache so we're we're bouncing around. It's a good time. It's been so much fun, uh, and I love that the you all are getting to see both a co-op run and a solo run essentially and a race all at the same time. It was such a great idea to to pitch this. Yeah, we we did it as a a joke. I think the first time our our first four v one. It looks like Terp just hooked the tuna, so as long as she catches that, they are done at 11 a.m. That's a flounder. Huh. Um, but yeah, so Habu right now is going into the secret woods. It's a secret. Um, Ooh. In order, um, we're doing that for two things. One is um, there is a fish here called the wood skip, but you can also catch that on the forage farm, um, which is very lucky. Um, but we're looking for a fiddlehead fern, which can only spawn in there. Um, but you could save a bunch of money if you roll high and you get it in the traveling cart, um, because you don't have to upgrade your axe then, um, in order to get into the secret woods, because there's a big Ooh. log in the way. Cool. Um, but I don't think he got one. Chat will probably correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't mm -hmm. think I saw one, so he might have to go in there another day. Gotcha. Yeah, there's a lot to keep track of between all four of the screens, for sure. Uh, it's been nice having chat been also paying attention, helping us, you know, keep track of what, everything that's going on. 
Yeah, and there there's so many different ways um, to like as um, like you know you see chat pop in, and there's some people you know you come in and it's like well they can give you the exact percent. Um, there's some people who come in and give you like just so many like just so many different ways that you can be like knowledgeable in this game which yes. is just so much fun like we've got a i didn't like i mean just scanning it's like we've got someone that i know like just every single marriage value they know off the top of their head wow. um we have someone who was um beat like the entire game without using any energy um there's somebody who's created a taz um bot to do some speed runs in the game in chat like it's wild really cool. the amount that you can do with like this little farming sim. I agree. And something else that's really cool is like I know you all you all are hosting a bingo tournament soon, right? Yeah. So and, we and that's just even another that. that's even another way that like you, it's not a traditional speed run. It's honestly I I've played a good amount of Celeste Bingo. Bingo is again about knowledge. It's about adaptability and figuring out like what you do and i i think the bingo is incredibly exciting and i know for stardew that's going to be so much fun as well yeah we're we're really excited there there was like a bingo developed for a while but they're having some troubles balancing it so we're trying to make our own board that we think will be good um for um for at least people to watch and we're doing that like a 4v4 um or I guess four player to like teams head to head something wow. or other. It's gonna, so it's gonna be, be like a lot it's gonna fun. be so four v four. Wow, that's gonna be really interesting. Yeah, it's it's fun to get the chaos. I mean, we've, oh, we we hear the three player team. Yes, we just want that, but with even more people. Yes, and it'll be really fun because then if you have you know the balanced teams, everyone's kind of fighting that same multiplayer lag, and then it really just becomes about communication between the teams. That's that's gonna be a blast. Yeah, that's, um, if, um, anyone in chat, if you play Stardew and you're interested, we got that link to the collab, um, we'll yeah, be... Yeah, let me post that again. Uh, we'll be posting, um, some examples of, like, what a submission, um, video, um, for, like, your little audition. It's just, like, quick 30 seconds, tell us why you're cool, because we know you are, um, tell us something that, like, maybe could be on a bingo board, um... And that event's going to be at the end of the month. So, very excited about it. I, I'm super excited for that, too. I definitely will have to tune in. Oh, and where's Habu at right now? He's yeah, going who should we, who should we check in with? Whoa, 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 um, what's the vibe? We'll check in with Habu because I think we don't interrupt him right now with too much money thoughts. Um, oh, but that's I've the that's the fun part. Oh, that's true. We'll wait until he goes <laughs> to the twenty sixth then. Um, <laughs> no, I'm just but, uh, I'm just joking. Let's go we can check go say in. hi. <laughs> hi, Habu. I hope we're coming in at a great time to distract you. How's it going? Uh, luckily, there's not much math at this point. <laughs> I just need to remember to go out and fish on the 28th and then go buy animals because we are finally at that point. Cool, yeah. So buy animals. What do we What do we need to pick up? Uh, I need basically all the uh, animal products still. Because <laughs> I did not get the rabbit's foot from the cart, unlike the other group. Gotcha. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. I also apparently forgot to move the barn in the coop, but it's fine. Some rookie mistakes there. Come on, Hubby. Yeah, I was more you, worried about uh, forgetting the strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely almost didn't forget the strawberry again. Totally did not, you know. Yep. I do need a crab pot from the traveling cart still, and I actually didn't get a carp during the lake fish split, so this inventory is going to be fun if I pick up... Uh, of course, there's a tuna in this. Of course, there's a tuna. There's always a tuna. Every After time you, you waste it. time on the tuna. Yeah, it sucks that the traveling cart is checked so late. But that's how it is. Did I see that you didn't get a fiddlehead earlier as well, or did I just no, like, I miss you? No, I got a fiddlehead. It was okay. far. It was like way over here. It was annoying. Um. Uh, 
we try to get the wood skip on a sunny day here because it greatly increases the odds, but wood skip is always a troll. You'll just get a bunch of carps on the line. Other than that, I mean, at this point in the run, it's a lot of sleeping and just praying that you didn't forget something. <laughs> oh, look, a wall basket. When do you find out if you forgot something? When when does uh, that... Right at the very end. Oh, no. That must be and so stressful. Normally, it's a walk of shame back because most times you have the item. It's just in a chest. Oh, your so farm, you figure so you out what you're missing walking. and you go back and grab it. And okay. Yeah, and then you have to walk back. Mm -mm. The other weird item I'm missing is I'm missing uh, two of the winter forge, which is the snow yam and the winter root, because I forgot to bring my hoe with me down south. So I'm just like, I'll get it in next winter. So I still have to go. I still have to go to winter. Ooh. But the good news and is you can get a nautilus shell now. Smile. I basically, yeah, I mean, I basically always go to winter year two for the Nautilus shell. This is what I mean about wood skip. It's like an 18% chance, yet I still have yet to get it on the line. So why, what um, is different about the secret woods when it's raining versus when it's sunny, Habu? What happens different there? <laughs> Man, I feel like you're setting me up. Well, the difference <laughs> is... When it's raining in the secret woods, even if it's summer, you can catch catfish. And the rate at which you ca catch catfish is extremely high, even uh, even though it's supposed to be like a harder, more rare fish. So it's like it cuts into the wood skip chances by a significant margin. So we choose to try go on a sunny day instead. Sometimes we do use it as a backup to get the catfish if we missed it in fall. But for most part now, I am going to just delete that. Because I don't need it. It's fine. Uh, animals. So a lot of people actually don't know. You can see what type of chicken you get at the top. So I got a brown chicken right there. So now I'm going to hope that I win a 50-50 and get a white chicken. That was another brown chicken. Another 50-50. There we go. I've lost seven in a row in a world record run before. Don't ask how. It was really funny to watch, though. It, it was. <laughs> I didn't think I could get that unlucky, but, you know, it's like that. Basically, uh, earlier I bought a rabbit and a duck. The reason why we buy a second pair of rabbits and ducks just on a different day is to offset them because the rate at which, or the odds that they drop the feather and the foot, respectively, from them is... Uh, I need one more room. Uh... I need, one, I need one more spot. I knew I was going to need this, but... Uh, the odds are based off of the daily luck, and since uh, they pro they don't produce every day, it's better to offset them just a little bit. I'm going to go 125 just for safety straps, and I'm going to get that later, I guess. Uh, yeah, my inventory is a mess right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you inventory usually organize management? it like a super way? Seek certain way so you know where things are or you just kind of let it be a mess? For the most part, I haven't been able to go to the community center, which is where I have like a community center chest as much as I would have liked, so items are kind of like scattered everywhere. You know you know what? I'm just going to take the time loss, fight the bullet, go, go to the community center, dump my entire inventory right. and move the barn and coop before I forget. There you go. There you go. It's fine. I just got to get luckier on animals than them, even though they already have a rabbit's foot. And Abu, how many times have you gotten lucky on animals, though? I'm pretty sure our last race, the you know, being on that team, we didn't even finish because we weren't able to get a rabbit's foot. <laughs> we, yeah, we, animals. I think like we got that. judged by Grandpa. We went into year three. <laughs> That's really uh, funny. Grandpa's a nice guy, though, so it's fine. He is a lovely guy. Okay, well, I emptied my inventory at least. Actually, I'm going to go the full way and just throw the corn in here as well already. Yeah. All right, well, you're uh, dealing with your inventory struggles. Uh, Jess, you want to check in with our three-player team? Um, they are currently fishing, but I have some fun facts I could share with you if we want to let Habu give some, get some focus. Sure, yeah, I'm, I'm down. All right, good luck, Habu. Thank you, thank you. What you, what you got for me in your Stardew Valley Fun Facts catalog? Um, 
it is a very recent piece of tech that we actually just discovered. All right. Um, uh, so most speed runs, actually, and especially community center, don't sleep into year three because at the end of year three, spoilers in chat if you care about Stardew Valley spoilers, um, but at the end of year three, um, like you're given the farm by your grandpa. It's very Harvest Moon, um, and then grandpa, the spirit of your grandpa comes to like look at your farm and tell you if he's proud of you um, for like what you've done, um, and you can like get a cool reward. Um, and that cutscene is about a minute or so. It's a okay. long cutscene. Yeah, that sounds like a long uh, time. We found out that apparently in some languages, you actually get a skip button for that cutscene, and it's not present in all versions. So in English, um, it's not there, but in Chinese it is. Huh. Um, it is also there for German, um, Spanish, and a couple of other languages as well, but for some reason just half of them just don't that's um, so have funky it. why it, i don't know but it is the only uh. way now that um we've identified that changing the language in stardew actually makes a difference because the text um from what we can tell there's no additional dialogue boxes like you don't save anything between languages like other um languages do um and the text rendering isn't much faster either. Uh, so there's no saves before. There was no reason to ever change your language from whatever like was most comfortable to learn. Um, but now we've got a bunch of people running marriage in Spanish. Um, because that means you can go into year three for some of the candidates. Um, and save and that time. <laughs> yeah. So wow. it's, it's very fun. That's really... Uh, it's really fun that you have... like. More discoveries are still happening constantly in this game. Oh, I mean, you're still so getting patches, time. and then you're still getting, you're still finding some funny exploits that you weren't expecting. Yeah, like we we only found it because we had a new Chinese runner join the scene, and we were watching the speed run, and they went into year three, and they skipped the cutscene, and so like you're not allowed to, even if it's not with a mod. Um, you can't launch through Smappy, um, which is the modding API, because it removes some of the load time and makes your game faster. Um, so even if you have no mods loaded, you're not allowed to run it through Smappy. Um, and so we were like, oh, it must be a mod because he's able to skip there. Um, and then it turns out, no, it's just some languages have a skip button for that cutscene. <laughs> All right, that was a very fun fact, gotta say. Uh, but we can definitely check in now with our three-player team because they, they have finished their fishing, so that does um, mean that they are good to go. And I have, um, I think, a fun question, though, because we've kind of highlighted, you know, we've highlighted things Habu's done, we've highlighted things Lee and Terp have done. Um, I've got some cool stuff I want to ask Joe about and see what he's up to. All right, let's head on in there, and you can do that. Thanks, Joe. I, I got to kill time. I'm buying... Is what I was saying. <laughs> I can do two ducks, though, right? So if we had if we had upgraded the barn on one of the days where we should have done the coop, then it would have been done for today. This is a lot of I, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> I am buying two ducks today. Can I buy sheep? I'm going to bed. It's too complex. <laughs> can I buy the sheep today as well? Yay yeah. or nay? Um, yeah, no. Yeah. If you want yeah. to, but Actually, you don't need sure. to because we're going to be buying more on the twenty eighth. Okay. Like usual. <laughs> Hello, friends. Hi. You just missed a massive <laughs> argument. We know we've been here for a little bit, actually. Hey, guys. Welcome in. What did you hear? <laughs> just me yelling at Turf. It's fine. Oh, I'm, I'm buying stuff, right? Um, so, the know? animals, Joe? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Joe, please buy the animals. <laughs> okay, um, well. Also, I don't know who has the axe, but the space should be cleared under the coop. That uh, would be jail. Would you like me to do everything too, Terp? I mean, what's oh, yeah. Lee doing? Is she in bed? <laughs> I don't have I the axe. Give her the, I can't yeah, give her the thing. Well, <laughs> Wait, Lee, come down here. I have I'll a plan. Yeah, okay, got come it. Down I'm here. already down here. I got Marnie's. You go and give the... 
I made Don't a chest for you. There's a there's an axe in there. Oh my god! Why did you waste the wood for that? You could have just ran we up can, and done it. We have so much time; it doesn't matter. <laughs> you literally could have ran up and done it. I'm already here at Marnie. Lee, yeah, Lee's starting too. fights with everybody right now. I just want to say this out loud. I mean, I didn't I'm only not... starting fights because there's other optimization <laughs> that you could have been doing. I love just, just sitting here listening to this. Ducks, like I'm yes. a fly on the wall in this two multiplayer ducks. fight co-op right One now. Duck. I bought two ducks. We're good, right? You needed to off time them, Joe. There are two duckies in there. Okay. And I bought the shears. Uh, That's it. I need I need the white uh, chicken too, please. Beep beep. What? Keep now? going. Keep going, Lee. Beep beep. Yeah. Keep going. I'm going. Thank you. How did I get Faster. in charge of the animals? Faster, get the grape. Get the grape. I got it. Thank you. <laughs> I I think just less actually, yapping, more tapping. Our <laughs> just just had a question to ask, but uh, we're just I'm enjoying just this. I'm really enjoying this. this you said white chicken, right? White chicken, got it. Yeah. Okay. We got the large brown egg already, so we just needed the large white egg. What there other animals? I am not leaving until you say which ones. Oh, we are good. We don't need rabbit. I'll buy the cow. I'll do it. <laughs> we don't, don't need cows. Don't. I'll buy the cow. That, the only one that's left over that we need to buy then is the pig. Yeah. Okay. Lee, I should not have done that, Strat. Why did you make me do this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, hi, guys. <laughs> hey, what's hey. up? Hey. Um, so, you know, this, um, I guess, a little bit. Okay, so my, my leading question is, um, Joe bought, I believe, all the animals, so does Joe need to do any Except more for math the pig. in his head <laughs> for a little bit? No, no we don't need... Uh, no. Oh, actually, we had to, because we got the rabbit's foot, we had to change what we did in the beginning, because rabbits are super yeah. expensive. So we opted for two ducks and a chicken, and, and a we sheep. still need wool, so we're going to do uh, sheep strats instead of relying on the rabbit, because they're expensive. Nice. So that's what our current plan is. Did you buy the sheep or no, Joe? You're being very accusatory right now. <laughs> I'm just asking. I need to know. <laughs> I couldn't buy it because it's not done, like Terp said. Um. Yeah. So the wait, the sheep. You didn't do the sheep. I have to. I didn't give see these it in there. Animals food <laughs> later. Yeah. Oh my I'm goodness. I'm trying um, my hardest not to yeah. mold right now. At <laughs> you. So Lee, it doesn't help. Um, I'm trying to provoke both oh of you. Oh my so. god. I want us all to look at the sheet for um. Summer, no, a spring day, uh, 20, I think. What year? It, not, not, not spring. It's one of the day. It's, I think it's the day where I was. Oh, oh, summer day. 28? one. I okay. want you to tell me if in my column it says go to Robbins. I, I don't I, know okay. which, which one's your column, Terp. There's four Actually, of them. It's the first. under Jess's column. So yeah, Jess which Joe took, it up takes all of us. <laughs> yeah, so Turk took it's my job Jess's a long time fault. ago. It's actually Jess's fault. So, <laughs> unbelievable. <Just saying. laughs> I apologize. The fight, yes, the fight is extending to the host. All of us. Hold Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. What, it's what are you going to blame me for? Lee, no. Lee I expect an apology. <laughs> there, so th the three-player team is using my four-player route and trying to apparently oh. not decide who they're um, distributing that fourth player's tasks to completely. Jess, you're being so. very accusatory right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Joe, you know what I really wanted to do, though, when I, I like came in here? pictures thank you for that yeah. joe i wanted to come in here because i like i know we're speed running right now but like i really wanted to actually ask you about your min maxing because i've let everyone else kind of like chat about what they're real like what they do in this game and like yeah. you know you guys make a lot of money for the cc but like how much money have you made i don't know in like a single year of stardew valley what a really interesting question and nice setup there 50 million is my maximum I made in one year. In one single Stardew year. Are we talking Billy 1 or Billy 5? We're not going to worry about which attempt it was. It was <laughs> isn't, it, isn't the end goal where it's at? True. But the process was long and tedious. We, I did, in fact... That's so much money, though. That's, an, that's It really wild. is, even though there's been a lot of quality of life things. Anything above that is still insane, but 50 itself is, like, ridiculous. Yeah. Wait, Lee, I need you to cut a path. I don't have a way to get in there. Wait, sorry, your path? What? To the right? Um, did something already grow? Yeah. Okay, well then come Help. collect your axe <laughs> from the chest that you made. Oh, that's a good thing I put it down there then. 
but yeah, it's it was a it was a multiple. I've been I think I was doing that run very casually, quotations around it for like a year or something, and we finally were able to do Sandfish. it. Sandfish, let's go. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Insta buy. Thank God. Okay. Um, and then when you do buy the animals, just remember to get shears. No, I have shears. Well, okay. there's no. I don't sheep have to the. I don't have the sheep it, though. So. <laughs> okay, um, I'll grab the sheep and the pig, so we're good. Uh, right. yeah. I think we'll we'll let you guys wrap up with and animals. Hey. I think I'm gonna. We might go check in with um, Habu because it's been a little bit. We it were has. gossiping about you guys okay, okay. earlier. So yeah, yeah. Well, we should hold see on, how real quick, feeling. before you leave, what were you saying? <laughs> um, we were talking about how cool you were. Which is That's actually, a lie, actually. <laughs> okay, well. So I appreciate what else? you guys. <laughs> appreciate you too. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Hi, Habu. I'm. Hello. I'm just like your screen is a little bit small, but I'm just like, did you get a rabbit's foot and a duck feather like on the same day? Technically, they were a day apart. <laughs> but dang. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I got. You know, it's just one of those situations where it's just get lucky forehead. <laughs> really, all you got to do sometimes. So I was impressed. They got it from a traveling Chad was, cart. Chat was popping off. That's, that's impressive. <laughs> yeah, you just got to get lucky. I mean, it was it's one hundred percent skill in every single way. It's of not course. luck whatsoever. I'm I'm just a gamer. <laughs> also, I got an early truffle, so I can do this in the order that I like to do this in. Nice. So, Look at like, that! Only two and a half hours in, I finally completed my first room, guys. Yeah! <laughs> hey. Let's go! One of six. Round of applause. I would leave the community center right now, but it will soft lock me, so I wait. Oh, it'll soft lock you? That's okay. Well, you're not supposed to be able to move during that cutscene. Right, 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 right. Okay, so if you leave, bad things happen. E e yeah, it, do mm. it doesn't like leaving. Yeah. If you leave at the wrong time with that one, it won't soft lock you, but your entire screen just stays white in the completed like cutscene um, oh, animation. Right. It's very fun. You can fix it by going back in. I didn't know that. I had my yeah. friend walk me all the way home so that I could go to sleep because I thought that would fix it. It doesn't. <laughs> yeah, it's it's interesting there's one where if you like complete a bundle and it's like showing the unlock of the next bundle that one soft locks you which is always fun i gotta go back to winter i put that in there yeah so you're just ra you're basically picking up the last final pieces right now you have to go to winter because you forgot a Till item, right? I, yeah, but that that was like I didn't forget it. I knew I was skipping it because I didn't want to go back outside. Understandable. It's cold outside. It's scary <laughs> outside. So yeah, I just had to keep track that you hadn't done that yet. So got to go back and get that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I needed to go back to winter anyways because I need to get a Nautilus shell if I don't get lucky from uh, the mm -hmm. Demetrius gifts here. Right. Makes um, sense. So a fun thing that like, I guess, you know, here's some fun leading questions. Um, like you put that keg in a very specific spot. Uh, yeah, I did. You like, it, uh, but it, why? It's not an optimal spot. Uh, for when we finish the community center, it's funny. It's not even an optimal spot. I just place it there because it's funny. <laughs> I, I, okay, so I guess I don't know what the, like, because I was like, oh, he just put it one tile off of, like, the usual spot. But wait, what happens funny there? Because now I'm, or I guess we'll, I guess we'll see it. It's, it yeah, it's in the bookcase. That's the normal spot, no? Isn't it, like, it's one to no, the... No, I'm pretty sure it's there. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're both thinking about the same spot, but I think we we are on different tiles. I can go to bed, right? Yeah, I melts. I did all yeah. that. Uh, I should probably just go and check the traveling cart because I still need a single crab pot item. I have I have the mm. cockle for once. I just oh, didn't nice. get a crab in the mines. Seems like a good uh, idea. These are like yeah. random do a preemptive like chat. Don't say it. Um, <laughs> I think I got it like right as with stream delay, <laughs> so it's like right at the same time. Perfect. 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 Uh, I don't think I'm really forgetting any other item. I still need to clean up the exotics. Uh, that's the wrong fish, unfortunately. 
We're not gonna bother picking up the coconut. I get that. I can get that in the yeah. desert. You mean you didn't remix the bundles and you're doing a Master Fisher instead? Yeah. So you need that scorpion yeah. carp? Yeah, definitely not. I need 200 wood still. Uh, it's just like at the end, you just need to clean up so many just random items. So much fun. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know how close I am to fishing level three because that would be the backup for the crap. I also, I love fully zoomed out cutscenes. It it was not designed to be played at 2K like this. No. <laughs> <laughs> and I did see you got a fairy earlier in the run he, as well. Which I is... also got a stone owl. Oh, very fun. No meteorite, so we're not we're not doing uh cutscene or night event percent this run. Do you, yeah, no. I guess, would you like to chat about um, these random overnight uh, events? Would you like to tell us about uh, them? Uh, just, well, basically, you. for all these, there's roughly a 1% chance of, there's five different night events, there's about a 1% chance for each of these night events to occur. And you almost always get all of them throughout the run. It's very rare that you don't. So, these being Stone Owl, Crop Fairy, uh, Strange Capsule, Meteorite, and Witch. And I've gotten two of them. I got a Crop Fairy earlier, and I got a Stone Owl recently. That's my last animal product. Um, this is going to upgrade tomorrow, so let me... Seaweed, Rice, that. Have the extra Shad. I'll remove these so I don't have to do that. And then, uh, yeah, you just have a random chance of getting them every night, and we just hope that we don't, because, yeah. Boop, there's a Maki roll. Uh, I'm done with animals, that's right. Uh, I'm gonna sleep until Friday. The reason I'm sleeping until Friday is for a traveling cart check, as well as good forge, and then I'm just going to chop wood and hope to get good forge on the, <laughs> or in the desert. Nice. Well. Yeah. Really just a lot of turn-ins now. We're almost done. Cool. Well, we'll leave you to um, go on an adventure um, to Yeah, the thanks desert. for catching us up. Um, but best of luck. Don't forget to trap Pam. <laughs> uh, I might, I might not. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, we're, we're really getting to the end here. Yeah, we're getting real, like, everyone is real, real close right now. Um, I think that, that little earlier internet, internet flips got us a bit delayed, but, you know, more Stardew time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're getting to, like, like how much, if you're going to estimate, like, we've about left for, for each of these teams, you're thinking, if everything goes smoothly. Everything goes smoothly. Um... Let's see. Three player team has maybe two or three more active days they have to play. Okay. Um, and then Habu does have to go into winter for the things, but again, he can sleep a lot faster, so. It's still really anyone's game. It looks as close long. with that in mind. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's really uh, exciting. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. It's like I'm very excited about some of the optimizations that are coming out of the multiplayer run um, I to agree. kind of bring this closer because the routes that. The, um, like we used the first time that we did this was just you take the one player route and then just divide the tasks but no optimization towards it or anything just you know put them together um, so it's cool to see um, we had a, a couple of ones like planting some mix seeds they added gifting Demetrius earlier um, like some of the building upgrades are done by other people instead of just the farmer it's it's really neat to see like what sort of things we can kind of cut down on 
Yeah, the routing of co-op runs where you're able to really just split up and then come back together always fascinates me. And this is really just the peak example of that where some people just don't even have to go into an area at all. And it's, it's fun, especially getting to see it against the solo player who has to do everything and how that route is different. Yeah, and it is great too, because I guess like, especially this run, um, like you do get those those lineups, so to speak, where you know people are like, well, like who's who's winning? And it's like, well, you know, yeah, we just we don't it's hard to know tell they right can... now. It's really hard to tell <laughs> right now. And that's exciting. That's I mean that's yeah. that's the dream, right? If it was a complete blowout, that wouldn't be nearly as interesting. But it's it's super close. It really is. I'm very excited um, just to like see how this wraps up and. Yeah, I mean, um, you see, Habu right now is going to go into the desert. That's where he's going to be able to catch um, the sandfish. He wasn't able to find one that was in the cart, so he has to go pick one up. But he can also get a coconut and a cactus fruit, both of which have spawned here. Um, so those can satisfy exotic forage, um, which is, you know fantastic because that is a bundle um, that needs to get done and those um, exotic forage is very fun because at least for um, a lot of it you can complete from doing um, just playing on the forest farm because mm. you get access to morels and the red and purple mushrooms that are usually like location locked um, but you can just get them on your farm uh, so it makes things a, a lot easier um, for that part of the run. Cool. There's just, every time, there's just so much that goes into this. There's so much that goes yeah. into making this optimal. Especially yeah. at this high level. And what's really fun, too, I guess, like, on top of that, like, when we're like, okay, you know, what can we do and stack this so that it is optimal? You know, I, I joked with Habu that he didn't remix the bundles, so he didn't need that scorpion carp. Mm -hmm. Um... The community center, you can actually choose to remix it as well as the mines rewards. And so then all of a sudden things can be pulled from a bunch of different um, locations. And some of the bundles now individually, like you actually, in addition to remembering regular RNG, you actually have to roll to hope that the community center spawns. Oh my gosh. With the right things inside it um, in order to get like those world record runs um, for Got some it. of the categories. So it's like even higher levels of weird RNG that we rely on now. There's so much and if you're resetting, like trying to get, yeah, like, like what you're saying, trying to get those world records, trying to get those PBs of like, you can do everything optimally with what the game gives you. But if, you know, there's a lot of, there's just a lot of things that have to go right. It's a lot of attempts that you have to do. Yeah. And sometimes you'll get the perfect seed and then you just make a mistake because it's speed. That's how speedrunning works. So it's just, yep. that's, you have to have put a lot of time and dedication into this. And I know all of these players have put in just hours and hours and hours into this. Yeah. Oh man. And apparently Habu did get a strange capsule event, apparently. <laughs> Um, so all he needs is a, a witch to come, um, I think, and change one of his eggs to a void egg, and um, we'll have the the full set of overnight events. I guess not a meteor yet, um, but we see Habu right now doing um, now mail reset strats. So he got a gift in the mail from, I believe we're hoping for the wizard right now. Yeah, because I see that wizard gift. Um, you can tell because the wizard uses um, unique letterhead, so the letter is dark blue, so you can kind of see when it's coming through. Um, but he got a gift, which means that if he doesn't get what he needs, so he got a frozen tear there, then um, he will just keep... Um, resetting the day and trying to interact with the mailbox at a slightly different time um, to get what he wants. Um, and so he... There's three items that he can get from... Um, 
the wizard. At least you can get jade, you can get fire quartz, and you can get frozen tear. All right. Um, and it used to be that you would hope for jade, actually, um, because you can take a jade, put it in a um, crystallarium, which is part of unlocking the bus, and then you can trade that on Sundays in the desert for staircases. Staircases wow. allow you to immediately go down a level in the mines, mm -hmm. and so you would duplicate 30 um, jade so that you can go you just auto go to down floor, all the ladders, yeah, right? And you would go all the way wow. down to floor 80 for that um, for that fire quartz, and so that used to be the strat. And so, like, you get that jade, and there's like a little bit of moment of like, yes, I got the jade, and then it's like, no, Wait, it like, does not I don't matter anymore. <laughs> cool, he got the fire quartz. Oh, I can He's see him super at, happy. At himself. Yeah. Aw. I love seeing the Abu's <laughs> reactions when things go right. It's just so, it's so good. Oh, okay. So um, what he's doing, so we're still actually doing mail checks. So what happened was he got letters from both Demetrius and from the wizard. So the reason that he was going slower there was because he was stopping at the wizard's letter so that he could guarantee um, like that he gets that item. So instead of trying to roll the RNG tables for both of them be turning up what he wants, he re-rolled so that uh, until he got the fire quartz, so slowly opening those letters in quotes. Um, and then now he's able to, he slept, so he saved that day, and then now he's able to go back and forth and do that. But Ooh. I think... I think our three-player team might be actually closing out right now. Wow. Do we want to go check in with them? Yeah. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Proud of you, dude. Hey, what's up, team? Hello. Hello. <laughs> How, things Looks like things are going well. Yeah. Things are going okay. What's the vibe? What are you all uh, working on right now? Um, just don't, don't put anything in here, Lee. It only needs one more thing, and it's a hardwood. Don't, don't put it in. Each other's throat I again. don't have it, anyways. Right, cool. I had Mabel, <laughs> and <laughs> what's right. what do you need in there? Any, oh, you just need uh, the animal products. I'm going to go ahead sure. and do this. All right. Does the bulletin only need the truffle? Um, oh, and, no. I, and the food, yeah. Okay, I'm drop yeah. the truffle. You can put the truffle, it's fine. I have my one snail contribution for the fish bundle. Nice. Very nice. nice. That's uh, the only thing. Now we just sleep, right? Two days? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Did you get the the What'd ducks you? and stuff? Nope. Did not get the feather. Okay. Okay. Or the other large egg. But still waiting on that. Go team go. Go team go. Um, but for the vault I did everything except for one bundle. Perfect. Okay. And we definitely have enough money, so. Okay. Come on, duckies. We just need the feather. Let's you have go. I'm assuming you have the egg, right? Give us um, the feather. I do not have the egg. I need the large white egg, and I need the um, feather. Oh, no. No okay. duck egg? Oh, okay. Oh, I have the duck egg. No. I already turned that in. We've got the duck egg. We just need a... Uh... Yeah, okay. We're good. Yeah. So, you guys are sleeping two days. That's house finishing house Please. upgrade, then? Yep, you got yes. it. But I still need to go out to um, <clears throat> say hi to the animals. I usually will so they can skip give, the day. So they can give me what they want. Or if I skip a day, I, how does it make yeah, you no, feel? I don't, I don't risk it. Oh, I yeah. see it, and I didn't risk it because now I have the... It would have been there the next day, though. Egg. Nope. <laughs> what do you mean, no? It would have been wrong. there. Mm, it would have been there. Yikers, maybe read a book, bud. <laughs> yeah, I can't read. Nice try. I'm sorry, You're not even going to thank me for moving the, the furnace. I moved it. Yikers, my geikers. That's a good right, thing. Us. What do you mean? I'm so, I just noticed you're among us. Um. Thank you. I <laughs> no, do subtle things like that all the time. <laughs> uh, and we're good. Sussy. So now I got I got two duck feathers. So I'm just gonna leave okay. Okay, Turp. We gotta uh, wait for your. Don't mess up the egg. Yeah, upgrade. All right. Yeah, yeah. Don't one. mess up the egg. Yeah, I got that. Don't mess okay. up the egg, Turp. Okay. Can you stop talking? We're on the last don't, thing. Let's go. Don't mess up Can the egg, Turp. Don't mess up the egg, Turp. Get to bed. Hey, Joe. 
There's no jars. I already did them. We have enough money. I need you to stop throwing. And stop uh, I am literally sleeping. Oh, you this cannot. is so much fun. I'm I <laughs> You're invited I'm next time. So glad. One more day, come on. Oh, oh no, we're already no, here. Not we're one more day. Words. What do you mean? We're literally I, didn't, I didn't go. I didn't stop throwing. throwing. Already... Lee, you're Sorry. throwing. Pop a car. Go. I can't. There's a massive wood infestation over here. Can you help <laughs> me out? No. Oh, what? <laughs> Can a team player oh, help, help you? Help them. <laughs> oh, what else do we need? Where is Joe? I'm in the jungle. <laughs> Bye, I'm going to the CCC later. You can't finish without me. I have the 10 hardwood oh. or whatever it's called. That's oh, fair. Man. You are, You have... It was my ace in the hole in case you guys slept me behind. <laughs> oh, here. Right, chop down the bush. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're it. good. You have coffee? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, how my wind? We got to go. Go, 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 go. Why did you I do the apples thing. like that? They're going to fall on the ground. This is so fresh, y'all. I can't. Them. I don't oh think so. Oh, my God. The loading boss, dude. You know the what? Should we, should we bring Habu in here? I, yeah, I guess. Please. So, yeah. yeah, please. I have my, I have my snail. Hi, Habu. Join the did chaos. you guys just finish? Hi, Hi Habu. No, 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 no. Robert, no. look me in the eyes and tell me you're done. <laughs> I'm not done. Okay. Look, I, Lee, I'm running. You guys left me behind. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, where's the mushroom? Where's the mushroom? Put the mushroom in. Oh, my God. I actually lost the mail, didn't I? I got the vault. I did the vault. Put you the mushroom in. You guys are so lucky. I got mushroom, the mushroom, construction mushroom. stuff. Hurry up. Joe, where's I'm the mushroom? Going. What mushroom? What are you talking about? The purple mushroom. What purple mushroom? The one that Oh, uh, they're a great in the jungle. Team. What do you want from me? Put the purple They are a great team. Habu, this has been them the whole time. It's been so oh, good. I'm sure. Wh Whoever's Wait, coffee needs to go back. Go oh, back. Somebody who has serious? coffee, go back. I don't have any. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in panic mode, too. I still need that. And now <laughs> you got me why I saved my coffee. <laughs> If Good. we lose, it's all you. because of Joe. I lost the mail, didn't I? You Joe. left me in the jungle. I, I want Joe. you guys to know that I reset for the fire quartz for five minutes. I, yeah. Um, Thank and you for Joe, Joe you get got the put out seven times. So. Yeah, dude, that was really, really fun. I skill issued so hard. Just watching uh, Terp moonwalk in place, and all of a sudden it says, you I can't. I mean, disconnected. Oh, thank God, there's one. Ice was about to. I was gonna. I did not hear you say purple mushroom, by the way. Hands. I, Joe. I, I don't know Joe? what's happening, and I think that's beautiful. Please. Uh, I Coral can't believe you uh, did uh, this to me. Yeah, the three player <laughs> team has one item left, which Joe is trying to get to <laughs> via well, cutting uh, to is. the left. Lee is. Lee is trying to get to oh the my, left. Oh my, do you need help? Uh, I'm on my way. I was struggling um, a little when, bit. When Lee, when Lee puts this mushroom in, it'll be time. Well, no, um, not yet. You you, yeah. you did the timer last time. Wrong, by the way. You have to wait for the flash. Lee, Joe, okay. you didn't have a purple mushroom. You, you have to wait for the right flash, now. Terp. Joe, I'm you need invalidated our run, Terp. <laughs> Joe, I'm pretty sure yeah, that's you're what I thought. on all go, counts Joe, and you threw this whole run. I'm trying to give you Chariots of Fire vibes, but I don't remember how the song Why goes. is the purple mushroom not here yet? I'm on my way. I'm literally uh, are you not outside. Can you right now? Yo, who can turn stuff in faster, me or you guys at this point? Because I have go, everything go. as well. Oh I really hope it's Lee. This is I so really hope it's Lee. On, on the flash, yeah, on the flash, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait for it. Oh, no, you got it. It'll be time. And? Almost. Nail biter, actual nails. I lost the mail. Uh, oh. Time. time. Oh my Let's god. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I lost the mail. Oh, no, I'm here coping here. <laughs> oh, Which by the way, my time X. is. <laughs> now, nah, wait. Time? Oh, I got baited by my own. <laughs> my <laughs> time is. Uh, that's nah. it's overlapping <laughs> bundles. Yeah. What? I lost the mail. I also lost forgetting the hoe for yeah. the... Time oh, on... Whatever. Time on Haboos right there. Let's that's go, disgusting. dude. <laughs> oh, man. I already sat in the middle of the mail so for five incredible. minutes straight. That's empty. <laughs> that's... Oh, that's 25 well, second mattered. difference on a three hour run. A little bit of a photo <laughs> finish there. Wow. Huh? We've done this, uh, we've, we may have done this previously before, uh, and Hab has 
one both times. Uh, we don't have proof. I'm two to one now. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I, I was connected, so you had one more person causing multiplayer lag, so... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. yeah you're, you're coping just count. as much as I'm coping about mail That's right true. now. <laughs> I will admit that one of those that we lost, I may have not read the guide at all. That was also true. <laughs> so to be I fair, Habu, we one. lost at least five to the Disconnect, so... It, it yeah, yeah, I mean, it happens, but that's... It was pretty player. rough, yeah. I'm telling you, dude, we do land, though. Be yeah, if you do a land, you're gonna win. <laughs> well, the only reason it's close is because of lag. <laughs> yeah, true. true. Wow, that was so. That was so much fun. I was, I was like screaming behind the mic, just waiting for that ending. Oh, congratulations to everyone that bet on the three-player team. By the way, feels oh. good to win one. You know, yes, it does. Definitely. For once, yeah. <laughs> All right, I will. I will. Throw this over to my co-host, the Valiant Sun, to wrap us up. You all can say all the shout-outs, things you need, all that good stuff. I'll sit back and just enjoy my heart rate coming down. <laughs> yes. So, guys, in like the same way we introduced ourselves, I know that was a little while ago, but if you guys want to tell like everybody, um, you know, where can we find you? What do you do? Like, you know, just like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hi, I'm Lee, aka 20 something loser. You can find me at a 20 something loser on Twitch and YouTube and all the socials except for Twitter, uh, which is just 20 some loser. Mm, character limit, fun stuff. Uh, I'm the other half of the Stardew Valley collab. So if you, you like what you saw today with all the event stuff, we have lots of stuff going on. So yeah. there you go. Hi guys, my name's Joe TG. I am a uh, speedrunner slash variety streamer. I play a lot of Stardew Valley. You can find me on Twitch mostly. I'm really lazy about other socials, but I usually try to have the same name. And uh, and we, like Lee said, I help with some of the planning for some of the events that we do for Stardew. And if you guys are interested, I believe the speedrunning Discord is very knowledgeable and helpful for those that are interested in learning how to speedrun. So feel free to, to do that. And yeah. thanks for having me on, guys. It was really fun. Yeah, and I am Terpreter. You can find me at twitch.tv slash Terpreter. Um, and right after this is uh, I'm going to be heading over to Preventathon to do the exact same run except for with four instead of three. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. And I, I speed on a lot of Stardew. I guess it's my turn now. I'm the Abu. Uh, <laughs> you can find me on twitch.tv slash the Abu. I do Stardew Valley speedruns, occasionally do Terraria speedruns. Uh, but right now I'm more focused on doing a collectathon for Stardew. I'm trying to collect one of every single item in your game. So if you're interested in that, again, on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash the Abu. But yeah, other than that, thanks for having us. Yeah, and. Um here, me on comms. Um, I am the Valiant Sun. Um, I also speedrun um, this game, but you guys just got to hear my lovely voice today. And as Lee said, I'm the other half of the Stardew Valley Collaborative. Um, the link, I believe, is um, floating around in chat. If you're interested in large events, um, we've done marathons, we've done um, competitions we've done tournaments um and we've got bingo coming up so if you're interested in any of that if you want to be part of a super duper cool community um come join us we'll love to have you that was that, that was so much fun thank you all so much for being on i'm glad that it worked out so beautifully you all are so much fun to work with i was laughing the entire time it was just this is some of the most fun I've had on Hotfix, I gotta say. So um, I really appreciated it. I hope to have more folks from the Stardew Valley Club in the future. We can get something together, do a tournament or something. But uh, everyone in chat from the community, I also just want to say thank you. Uh, it was clear you all were so excited to see this and answering questions. You all were a part of this too. So thank you so much. And uh, with that said, we're all done with Hotfix for today. And I think we have a, a friend who's playing Stardew Valley we're going to send everyone over to. So please stick around for the raid. We'll send some more love in the chat and I'll see you all next time. <laughs>